Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome, chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. If this is your first time seeing the shiny, then uh, you're welcome. Okay, congratulations. You just upgraded your package. You now uh, you now possess true knowledge in this life. I'm uh, I'm going to be streaming Station Years today with uh, one Elmatrix. Chat, I need you to behave yourselves. We are in the presence of Station Years royalty. Okay, so everyone's going to be on their best behavior tonight. I don't want to see anyone with their elbows on the table. All right, unacceptable etiquette. Only the finest chats, only the kindest donation uh, TTSs. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it civil and sane, and uh, and happy. Uh, I'm gonna bring Elmo on in a second. I just want to switch over to the in-game view. Uh, there we go, and that is all working. All right, Elmo. Um, let me unmute you. Give me a second. Say hello, Elmo. Oh, I'm muted. My ass. Elmo, you can go ahead and say hello. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the king of Stationeers himself. Thank you so much for joining us today. So, for those of you who don't know, we are playing uh, Elmo's mod, which is the terraforming mod. And we're going to try and put an atmosphere on the moon. That's the plan. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty ambitious one, but I think, we got what, I think we got what it takes. I think we got the chops on this one, right? And here we go. He's joining now. All right, Elmo. What do you uh, what do you think our our biggest challenge is going to be with this whole thing? Yeah. Yeah, because there's no atmosphere. Well, there's a little atmosphere, right? Like a tiny one, right now. Nope. There's straight up nothing. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right. There is no atmosphere on the moon at the moment. Um, so we are going to need to put down quite a lot of gas. Uh, but I guess we're going to start with uh, with the base. We just gotta we just gotta jetpack everywhere. Just be really wasteful with it. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Do you think it's like too much of a hassle to just dump a bunch of pollutants into the air and then have to clean it later? Or should we be smart about it from the start? Yeah, he's just kind of burning stuff. <laughs> Left, right, and center. All right, where should we put our base? I'm thinking crater base. Put a crater base, yeah. Seal in a crater. Launch some rockets from it. What are you thinking? How about this one? All right. Oh, yeah. Elmo, your voice was a bit soft. Chat, can you hear him now? Say something, Elmo. Hello, chat, can you hear Elmo now? Can't hear Elmo, you can't, you have to build a huge cat tree on the moon? Deal. Done. Alright. Can you hear Elmo now, chat? Give us the, give us the down low. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I can, I can see it working. Yeah. Elmo, speak up, please. <laughs> They're asking so nicely. <laughs> Um, no, it's working now. I think. I think we're fine. I think I just had you a bit too low with the music. Chat, let me know if that's okay. Nope. They say they still can't hear you. Hold on. I need to. I need to check this out. Something. Something's bugged here. Um. What could that be? Let's have a look here. I reckon what the issue is is that it is. Oh, I know what the problem is. It's that my headphones split Discord audio between two different channels. Um, so I can't have the game audio and your audio. I'm going to have to add another track. Okay, say something now. Okay, so I'm just mining. Now we can hear Elmo, but now you can't hear the game. Okay, I'll, I, you, go, you go mining. I'm going to troubleshoot. This is a uh, classic <laughs> live stream uh, issues. Music went up there. Okay, good to know. Listen, we're going to work our way with... Bup Duct tape and bubble gum. That's how we do this. We're gonna work <laughs> our way there. Let me add another audio capture. Can you hear Elmo now, chat? Uh, can can chat hear me now? Uh, let's see. We'll wait for them to respond. Um, let us know, guys. 
That's a loud Elmo. Hey, I'll take loud Elmo over no Elmo. That's fine with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some technical difficulties here, but we're working it out. All right, I'm going to tweak your volume a little bit, but that should be good. And I just need to set up a a capture for the audio. Okay. Thank yeah, like like Mermix says, thankfully we're professionals on the stream. So there's, <laughs> there's no problems here. <laughs> um this will be desktop audio at source. And that's going to come from Steel Series Arctis 9 comma game. Yeah, these fancy headphones making life harder. <laughs> um and that's gonna be on tracks one and three. Okay, lovely. There we go. Live editing, but I think we've resolved the worst of it. Alright, cool. Let me continue placing frames. Um, so I have... Should we put our solar panels over the workshop or over the base? Uh, I mean... I think I'm going to go everywhere. over the base for now, yeah. Just everywhere. <laughs> Cover them. Uh, we'll copy Mix, uh, Mix design from his Mars one. Have that little sure, spine sure, sure. down the middle. A pretty uh, good one. I'm pretty familiar with that one. Yeah, it's a good design. And then we've got all of the frames down. Very nice. All right, we can hear him now. There we go. Didn't know you started modding up to Sesame Street, Elmo. <laughs> Apparently, your, your career has come a long way <laughs> since then. <laughs> There's uh. So when did you actually get started in Station Years modding? What's your? Because you're quite you're quite a big name in the modding scene. Yeah. Well, in the modding, I just started this fall. Oh really? Okay, so that's yeah. quite new. I, I don't know, I just, I've always seen your, your stuff and I was always too stupid to understand what was going on. And now I'm kind of like, okay, so this is, this is code. <laughs> ah, I see, this is what the kids talk about. I get it now. <laughs> uh, right. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I just love this game. So I just play mostly. And then, uh, I, you know, so uh, I've been playing Stationaire since the release, right? But, um, the year after release, I started my education. So I started at university again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the last five years, I've basically been doing uh, my full, you know, from start to now soon to complete master's degree. Congratulations on that, by the way. That's a big achievement. <laughs> I guess and that's I, in yeah. uh, control theory. Ah. Or, you know, um, automation and control. Which uh, is the thing I'm doing my degree in, and that's why I've been so into stationaries because it's been a playground for me where I can literally take my textbooks and have fun with the th theory in the video game. See, now that's fascinating because my textbooks, uh, I, I'm not even exaggerating, I have a copy of the Geneva Conventions right next to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a humanitarian lawyer, that's why I have like no technical background <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah. Um, I just love the, I love the, I love games like this which have a like a lot of simple mechanics that together create complexity, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that sort of like modular design. Uh, RimWorld's very similar for me, the same way. And a weird one up like Escape from Tarkov, that shooter game, also got that same vibe. You got like a lot of like individually simple mechanics which collectively make a very interesting, complicated whole. Yeah. That's my goal for Station Years. Uh, so everything I do, I've done with Station Airs is basically just an extension of what I've done in school. See, that's so, so cool. It's nice to have like an actual application for it, right? Yeah, yeah. The reason I started with modeling was because I had a class in uh, in numerical calculations and stuff. So I, I thought, well, you know, let's let's have some fun with that in Station Airs and make a mod yeah. that does numerical calculations and stuff. So. <laughs> no, for sure. That is that's really cool. <laughs> and it worked first time, I'm sure. No bugs. Huh? <laughs> Just... Well, no, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and the the terraforming mode which you have here is yes. uh, based on uh, a class I had in um, optimization and data fitting. So uh, that's basically the the backbone of the of the. Terraforming mod is basically just a huge math mathematical formula that calculates what temperature we have. Oh, that's so cool. And it's just basically, is it running off what, like the, the pressure, the gas composition, all of those variables? Yeah, kind of. Uh, what I did was I just inputted all the planets, all the atmosphere compositions, all the temperatures, etc. Into, mm -hmm. uh, into a program and then told it kind of what that formula I wanted to have for it. And then just went, you know, you fix it. And... Oh, nice. a bunch of data <laughs> that's pretty cool to to that so 
So which, we, which program uh, yeah. do you use for that? Is that one of those, um, the text complete AIs? Like the... Okay, now I'm gonna disappoint you, but I use Excel. Oh, what? No way. Just the spreadsheets. <laughs> That's yeah, even yeah. more impressive. What are you talking about, man? That's fantastic. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, I do a lot of like data analysis with my job because um, a lot of it ends up just becoming like statistical work and uh, I use Excel for a lot of that sort of stuff and man it is just that it, it, when I first started it was just magic and now it's like it's so obvious how to do certain like calculations and solve certain issues but at the start I was like this is no one can do this this is impossible <laughs> uh, I think you got to have a knack for, uh, for picking up new languages for sure okay. All right, I've, the airlock is... I'm just sort of putting things down as I'm getting to them. But we're making sure. progress here. Uh, could you wire up the autolate as well? That's melting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can Let's do that. move this inside. Um, so, Elba, let's go over the, what we said at the beginning again, because uh, no one could hear you. Um, what, do you think our, uh, what do you think our biggest challenge is going to be um, doing this little task? Uh, so on terraforming on moon, it's just to to get a lot of gases and think big, like real big. Just like go scale. So don't have one yeah. rocket, have twenty kind of thing. Yeah, well, kind of, <laughs> kind of. It depends on, obviously on on how how long you want it to go. You can, you can use one rocket, but it's gonna take it twenty times as long as. You okay, know, 20. so so twenty rockets it is. I, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> That's our goal. <laughs> But yeah, um, and you know, th think about all like all the gases. Like, uh, think about what kind of atmosphere you want the end product to be. Yeah, and work and, towards those. You know, start uh, start to plan early. Um, well, because we're gonna want if we want to do it Earth-like, right? Uh, to make right. a new a Terra Luna, then it would need a lot of nitrogen, like an insane amount of nitrogen, and almost equally insane amount of oxygen, and then whatever trace gases we have left over are fine. As long as we scrub yeah. out pollutants. So, so um, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so the like I, I I think I I don't know if I said it on um, on Discord with you earlier or yes. uh, but anyway um, the backbone of the terraforming mod is just this huge calculation. It's the same calculations on all the planets, which means uh, and. It's it's a you know a few things that go is goes into it, but the the solar scale is the big one. Okay. And for all the planet that has the same solar scale, you will basically have the same temperature with the same um, with the same gases. Okay, so you can make every planet identical eventually. If they have the same if they have yeah. the same solar scale, okay. but they don't. Uh, uh, right, because the temperature. Some of them. Yeah. Some of them do. Mars, Moon, and Venus all have the same solar scale, which means that if you replicated Venus's atmosphere on here, you would, you would get, get Venus. Venus's oh, that's temperatures. So cool. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's really nifty. But, but if you want like a habitable planet, then you want kind of like Lulan, right? Yes, yes. So we want like a breathable yeah. atmosphere. Well, we're kind of going yeah. for the the big blue behind you. That one over there. That's yeah. the dream. Oh, by the way, we've got some questions from chat for you here, Elmo. Um, Stefan van Roosh asks, uh, if you make a combustible atmosphere, could you set it on fire? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, min minor goal. Maybe we we pollute the world, burn it, and that gets us the CO2 we need to do the rest. <laughs> Chances are it will catch fire long before you actually want it to catch fire. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> You'd have to keep the temperature like cryogenic. Oh, actually, didn't they change the combustion with the combustion update? Now uh, things just kind of burn, regardless of temperature. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. and that made uh, doing furnaces, gas furnaces, a lot easier. Yes, yes, I noticed that. It's been uh, I used to have a bit of a pain with it. Not not so much with the basic one, but more with the advanced furnace. That was a real ball ache, and now it's much simpler. So Mervix says we can now exterminate the moon when we're done. I mean, I guess if that's if that's what you're going for, yeah. <laughs> you might want to reassess your life goals, but uh, that's definitely on the cards, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna put down the windows for our greenhouse. Do you have any? Uh, I, I guess we should. Can you get the furnace going, man? And start yeah, cooking ready. up some. Oh, it's ready. This guy. Oh, it's. It's working. It's cooking. Least. It's cooking. Uh, yeah. 
I, I don't mean the the, the arc furnace. I mean the the um the the regular one. Gas furnace. Yeah, it, it's working. Uh, the autolite is producing it. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Then I will uh, go help you with the mining because there's not more I, much more I can do here. I guess I can move some stuff inside because um, we need iron sheets to finish this off. Let's move in some lockers and grab some my data disk. Uh, let's get that airlock chip. We don't really need to bother with an advanced airlock yet. We're not going to have enough atmosphere to worry about for a while. I don't think. What? No, no, no. Not no. To, nothing to worry about. No. no, not for a very long time. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> uh, put down a couple storage shelves next to the furnace. That'll work. Alright, nice. Did you use some frames somewhere? Oh, I see. You got a little uh, orbit. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> I, li I love that. I'll let me know. I'll let me go smelt some wine. That's, that's genius. Oh, my my tool bubble pop was full when you, you weren't ready yet. So <laughs> it, it, like, hey, yeah, it works. Just... It works. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of independent gameplay we need to keep this moving. <laughs> um, yeah, I think all of the essentials are in. I will just set up a solid generator as an emergency backup. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. How's it feel to be playing with like ices and cold and stuff? Because uh, you almost never uh, do, right? <laughs> <laughs> All uh, your videos are like no moon with no ice, no cold, no yeah. mining, no. <laughs> I just don't even play the game. I just sit here. <laughs> uh, no, well, I sometimes do, but. <laughs> Uh, uh, all my videos kind of have a gimmick, yeah. <laughs> but you got, I mean, that's that's kind of the new, I don't want to say meta, but it's definitely the, what pulls the views on YouTube these days, is you got to have a, like, what are you doing that's different, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people want to come to see. Um, oh, hey, old man Tater. Actually catching a live stream for the first time in weeks. How's everyone doing? We're good, man. We're good. Elmo, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, yeah. How far away are you from your uh, masters getting it done? Uh, just uh, two months. Oh, I'm nice. Delivering in two months. Final run. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. My, um, probably, my, my Masters, I think I did it in, there was a year program. It was an accelerated Masters. So two to two, no, two to three years accelerated to one. It was this insane Swiss thing. And uh, the, the end result was you had to get like a published paper by the end of that same year. You know, it was like a mad rush. And I think I did the entire thing, including research, in like three months. Damn. It was, dude, it was, I I don't think I slept. I lived on caffeine and stimulants for like that entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, <laughs> yeah, whatever I could do to keep myself going. Much like our little station is here. What was your, uh, what's your topic out of interest? Oh, uh, master thesis. Or... Yeah, yeah, on your master thesis. Uh, I'm evaluating models dynamic positioning models for ships so uh, you know typically a uh, drilling rig or diving rig cable laying vessels and stuff they, they need to have exact position like super fine control yes, on yes. Where, the, yeah. where the ship is like down to the centimeter precision or meter well uh, plus minus a couple of meters but yeah. okay okay but I mean, for a ship that's a lot yeah Okay, so that's yeah, whenever I tell people about that, they, they're like, "Well, have you heard about this thing called GPS?" <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, GPS is fine to know exactly where you are, but it's not fine to control it because uh, you know a GPS will tell you where you are, but not how you should maneuver the ship in order to, to get keep to that, that position. position. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're working on the control systems then? Or... Yeah. That's fascinating, man. Are you are you partnered with the company or something, or is this independent research? Uh, just independent. Okay, that's that's tough. That's a, that's that's an ambitious one. Because yeah, uh, you don't have many ships to test it on. I'm, I'm guessing. No, <laughs> no, no ships. No, no real ones. It's all uh, it's all theory crafting. Also, uh, Man, I, I, made, still... I made a mistake. I dug a large hole <laughs> right in front of the lander. <laughs> so don't 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 fall in. Okay. <laughs> Did you steal all the iron sheets? I, I stole all the iron sheets. We have no iron sheets. I will make some more. <laughs> uh, we, in fact, we have uh, we have like a 30 sheet deficit at this point. <laughs> um, I will put... Actually, I'll let you put down the furnace. I will start... And here are your four uh, you sheets. You can just slap it down where you want to. You sure? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just... can always move it, yeah. 
let's just stick this over here so i have the i have a pinch of gases to to fire it up it just uh, i'm just gathering as much basically as much uh, material as, as yeah. possible great idea just i got a, i got a million silicon for uh, when we get to all the hydraulic bench press stuff um oh i'm an idiot i actually saved those sheets for the wrench for the for the furnace and then forgot to give them to you <laughs> sorry um this is the kind of teamwork they came here for let's all right the furnace is ready when you are and so is the oh god i'm gonna get a stacker stacker that's i'm immediately annoyed by the number of steel sheets or iron sheets floating around uh-huh And then should we go Atmos printer or electronics printer first? What do you reckon? What's your um, normal what's your normal order? Nah, I don't know. You need both. Yeah, I guess uh, electronics because then we can get cable coil quickly. Yeah, we're not in yeah, a particular right. rush for anything, I think. Nah, nah, we don't have to it's not like we have to worry about the atmosphere. Uh we do need gold, Emma. That's the that's the next smelt. We can't print up anything until we have it. Power is always the first issue. That is true. And then, yeah, so electronics makes sense. Okay. Let me put in the stacker, considering that we have no power. Let me make it worse. Uh, let me just put this in real quick. <laughs> have you been watching my Europa playthrough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then you'll know that I uh, I like to live on the edge when it comes to <laughs> everything, to be honest. We just sort of deal with stuff as it happens. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't rate my chances of succeeding in this challenge very high early on. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, I actually need to swap out my battery. Ooh, scary. Uh, that solar panel is plugged in, right? Yes. Okay. I am going to go find some gold. All right, chat. How are we all doing? In any building game, power is always an issue. It's true. Mega Ultra Dude, well, 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 if it isn't everyone's favorite bald gamer. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know about everyone, but uh, definitely there's like uh, 2,826 of you right now <laughs> who seem to not dislike me too much, which is nice. Um, have you uh, have you ever used any of Elmo's stuff? A Mega Ultra Dude here in chat, Elmo, is uh, he's a pretty prolific Stationeers gamer. Have you ever used any of Elmo's stuff, man? Because we, we got him on the call. Like, uh, it's kind of surreal for me, because I started playing this game by watching your tutorials. I I, I watched the Radaman series, and the, the Mars one, and I was like, oh, this looks cool. Yeah. And then I got it, and then I was like, okay, I understand nothing, and he's very slow. So I, so I watched your your tutorials on it, and now here you are uh, helping, me, helping me show other people the ropes. It's such a, it's a really strange experience. <laughs> oh, a full disclosure chat, uh, all ores on the planet have two times density. So we have to do half as much mining, pretty much. Uh, which is really nice. Ultra says you tried to learn everything yourself. Ah, oh, fair enough, mate. Yeah. That's uh, that's part of the joy. Right, discovering these yeah. things. I was, uh, I started this morning, I, when, after you messaged me uh, about tonight, I was like, oh, well, shit, I better learn some MIPS. So I, I opened up, <laughs> I opened up uh, Kalzar Evil's tutorial on it. And I got about six minutes in and I was like, ah, it's fine, Elmo can handle it. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Uh, we need one more gram. Gold. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Stick it in there. No, no, no more of that. <laughs> okay, we're done with that now. Yeah, yeah. Power. Yeah. It's, it's you know it's that that thing is super power hungry. Oh, I know. I managed to zero out my base several times on Europa by using it. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Lost it. Uh... Send it. Have you got the gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, lots okay. of gold. Oh, very nice. Oh, dude, this is the moment. Okay, first major milestone by day one. We have a functional furnace. This is huge. All right, and there goes the electronics printer. It is cooking. All right, honestly, I think the best thing to do now is just to go do some more mining. I have I have enough for the first batch of steel already. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna continue um, sealing off the greenhouse then. Actually, I realize we've got enough sheets. I think now we might need a little bit more. But I think we'll get close. Um, I don't know why, but when you make a custom world, you can't seem to select the difficulty. I couldn't find it. 
don't I don't actually know what difficulty we are on. I don't think it's station years difficulty. I think it uh, might nah. be it might, it might be normal. Because I'm still got like 94% hunger. It's a little a nice change. Because I always play on station year. Oh no, do you know what it is? I got the food rebalance mod on. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Probably. Completely forgot I added it. Because I added that last minute. Um after we spoke. Ah, uh, okay. That's cool. You learned MIPS at uni when I was learning C at uni. Interesting, Mega Ultra dude. That's cool. But Station Years MIPS is different, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Station Years is something I enjoy watching quite a bit, but not enough free time to actually play myself. Yeah, you gotta put hours into this game to get anywhere. It's uh once mm. you get once you learn the mechanics, it does go a lot faster. But there is a there's a pretty significant learning curve. Learning cliff. Or like, yeah, it's uh it's rough. I mean, yeah, it's, I guess it depends on how you like to spend your free time, right? Um, I like the... So what's the pressure limit on uh, Furnace? I think it's 50 before it actually explodes. It starts complaining at 40. Holy shit, okay. A, <laughs> that is a, My man, that is a bomb that you have created. <laughs> I'm going to stand back a little bit. Well, it's a good uh, thing I dug this bunker over here for us to hide it. Do you have uh, any pipes? I, I do have some pipes. I'm sure there's some in the lander uh, still. Pipes here, yeah. What's the limit? When you asked me, I was like, is this a test or uh, am I missing something? What's the... Oh, shit. Okay, no, no, it's going down. It's going down. We can't hear it, right? Because there's no atmosphere. So yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah. assumed everything was fine. I was like, oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I was just chugging ores through here and then I looked at the <laughs> pressure down. That would have been a fun way to learn the limits of, uh, of the atmosphere. <laughs> All right, cool. How much steel are we looking at? 200. Lovely. The perfect start. And our electronics printer... Still not ready. Oh, no, no. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, and let's actually get another frame. And we can stick that... I like to put these on top of each other. Saves a bit of space early on. And we'll stick this just over there. Perfect. All right. Next up, hydraulics. Actually, first we'll need more steel, sh more iron sheet. All right. How do we? Uh, do you know how to use a Sterling engine? I haven't really bothered with it much. I have never actually. Well, I, <laughs> I have used a Sterling engine once, but uh, that was with. Uh, I don't know if you saw my. Uh, EC video, cooling uh, stuff. No, no, I haven't seen that one. Um, so uh, that's uh, that. In that video, I kind of cheesed the, the Sterling and ACs in order to make infinite amount of power. Oh, that's cool. What's the? Well, does, does it still work? Yeah, yeah, it still works. But uh, but that's the only time I've actually used a uh, Sterling engine. Because I tried it once uh, while I was doing a recording for Europa, and that thing, it do it blew up like within seconds of me yeah. plugging in the hydrogen. <laughs> it, it's a uh, it, it's a mad thing. Yeah, it's uh, it goes it goes like I think you got to get it pretty well balanced to use it safely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Although Europa or air as well, it's 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 good to, good to use it here. On the moon. Yeah. Moon is, moon is, you know, uh, you need you need a lot of radiators, but once you have a, like a bunch of radiators, then can all kinds of cooling and stuff. So you can fine. still you can still radiate to vacuum. I thought they patched that out because there used to be that gimmick where you would like uh, put all your pipes into like a vacuum room, and you'd have like yeah, infinite yeah, well, cold storage, basically. Yeah. Is that still so, a thing? So, but uh, I don't know. Kinda, kinda, but. Uh, Vacuum doing like uh, vacuum radiation outside has always been a thing. Mm, mm. Uh, I understand. The, the yeah. gimmick you thought thinking about is when you vacuum a room. Yeah, 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 and you just put it inside. Yeah, which yeah, is uh, but, definitely yeah. not authentic to no, yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Chad, hi. I'm down here now. I I put my webcam over my little character's face, so now it's immersive. There you go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You enjoyed my Europa Fire Room, nice and toasty. Okay, good. There we go. Someone with a sense of culture. Thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> um, let's 
Oh, hold on. Did we get our... We did not get... Oh, we got 42 iron sheets. That's uh, too many iron sheets, but I guess we're, we're building iron sheets now. Um, I wanted to make up the uh, hydraulic pipe bender. Here we go. I was saying this to a friend um, who was interested in station years. And he was talking about like get it, how you get started and how you recover from stuff that's just damaged, right? And what I was mm -hmm. thinking is like, it's kind of strange in this game that you can't... Uh, oh god. Oops. That's fine. Did we have a little but, explosion? Uh, <laughs> just no, <laughs> yeah, I, I took away the pipes and then... Uh... Okay, well that's perfect well, timing, because what he was saying was like, <laughs> if you blow up your auto lathe and your other printers, can you come back from it? And I said no, because the other printers can't print the auto lathe. Yeah. Or the each other. Like, it's, they should all be able to print each other, as like a minimum, I think. That's yeah, probably a, a good idea. Makes sense. But no. uh, yeah, you, if, you, if you lose your auto lathe, you can't come back. No, no, it's, that's, that's, that's like a soft lock. It's game over. Yeah. yeah. But I, 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 I was just thinking, like, it would be, I think, an interesting change if they made it so that the printers can print, like, all printers can print other printers. Um, just be that way, like, even if, as long as you've got one left, you're still good, you know? Okay, electro print is ready to rock. We just need power for it. Uh, where is my... There we go. All right, should we start working on advanced alloys? Um, like, uh, um, so not, not advanced, but like constant and invar. I suppose yeah, we probably sure. want to, we probably want to vent first. To get the pipe yeah, we yeah. need, we need a yeah. passive vent and a valve for yeah. that. Um, I will also, lay down. Also, all the ingots we melted off kind of flew off. Oh. Yes, I see that. Uh, well. Oh, I found it. I found oh, it. I found, <laughs> do you find them all or just one? <laughs> Uh, let's see, we have a bunch of them here. Least, uh... <laughs> I see the cleanup crew going through there, yeah. There's a lot of holes here. Oh, there's another one down here, I think. No, oh, that is a piece of coal. <laughs> see, I Exciting. found the steel and the gold. Oh, I found some duct tape. And yeah. some iron. As long I as, as, long as we've got the, 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 the steel, I think uh, yeah, we're happy. Yeah. Uh, with two times all multiplier, the gold's not too hard to come by. Um, Coach Keg says, this isn't my Monday BBC Nugget Corn special. Listen, Coach Keegs. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. It's been about six years since you were last year. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're playing, we're playing a little station years, dude. We're terraforming the damn moon. Okay. You ain't ready for this. You ain't ready for how, how, uh, how terrible this formation's gonna be. But, um, shh. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Let's, uh, Elmo. Yep. Have you got a? Uh, have you managed to get a handle on the the debris? Found everything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I put it in a locker now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's uh, that's what they're there for. Let's uh, let's get those secured. I mean, yeah. I think I think the goal for me today is to get level two uh, printers and level two equipment, and that would be a good place to because you know, from there you could then everything else moves a bit faster. So we're um, gonna need solar panels, right? Yes, so we can start cooking those. It's all plugged in. Steel, copper, and gold. Well, we have that. Ah, shit, I interrupted the pipe bender. It was on like 90%. I cut into the network. Oh. Rookie mistake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt is playing in VR. Dude, it's so true. I, I am inside the game. Now just move like the player <laughs> normally does in the screen, shaking from side to side when oh, turning. Oh, we're running out of power. No problem. Let's get this out on a track. Okay, that's good. Hey, Gary Oliver, thank you so much for the subscription. Sorry, I'm miming out the character's actions because they said my head is too still. <laughs> Where I've got it placed. <laughs> Make a spare auto lathe and hide it in the bunker hole. Genius. Stefan, you're a genius. Okay, as soon as the as soon as we've got all the basics, we'll get on that. Uh, here's your first panel, sir. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, How many do you want? Let's probably do four. Uh, no, we room for four up here. Maybe five. Let's if we do... take out this. Yeah, I'll take you can take that yeah. one off. Oh, uh, maybe leave it until we've got the other ones fully set up. Yeah, yeah. Got some if, we, juice. if we create, make five at least. Yeah. Okay, I have nothing to do, so let me go mining. 
Uh, what do we need? I'm gonna we have gold try iron, to copper. make us. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go get make some. This sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, you go first. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and make a solar battle uh, trace thing. That yes, please tracks do. This. Yeah, I yeah, haven't yeah. done that in years. Uh, I've got an IC script for it. I can I can send it to you if you want. Um, I don't know. Oh, we can't even make. We don't have Electrum. Never mind. We can't even make that. Oh, if you find silver and gold, we can make electrum. But I found some nickel. I'm actually that's what I'll go do now. I'll go get the rare resources, get that out the way. Um, we should really that little that little hole in front of the base that's becoming the bunker. We'll stick a door on it. If the chat demands it, we must appease chat. By the way, if you're watching this, all 23 of you, hello. Uh, please, could you be so kind as to like the stream? Brings it to new eyes. Helps both Elmo and I out a lot. And uh, drop a comment. Say hello in chat if you haven't yet. It's, uh, it's really good for us. Alright, I'm gonna go for four stacks of nickel. We won't need more than that, right? No, no, no. no. Yeah, that'll be that's plenty. Because I like to, when I do the Invo and Constant, I like to do a double batch, just because it's, you know, a bit of a pain to do them sometimes, early on. And I need lead. Have you got lead? No. Okay, I'll go get lead. Iron for solder, and then we need silver gold for electrum. Okay, cool. We will not need cobalt for a while. Man, the moon's got a lot of stuff on it, huh? There we go. It's, it's kind of strange that aluminium's not in this game. Yeah, you're right. And isn't the moon's regolith, like, mostly aluminium? I think I read that in an Andy Weir book once. I, uh, we don't need water ice just yet. Prioritize our work a bit here. Let's see, sense. Right. Did I orient the base the right way? I think I did. Right? As. 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 That's fine. <laughs> well, with, with the moon, it just the sun goes straight overhead anyway, right? Yeah. There's no angle, so it doesn't matter. Like I said, I haven't made a. I haven't made a solar setup like this in literally years. I think maybe <laughs> since 2018 or something. The last time I did it was on my Mars playthrough, which was 2021. So it's been about two years for me too. Thank you for all the likes, everybody. It really helps the stream out. You guys rock. Oh, found some gold. Uh, that is not silver, damn. All right, I'll get this somewhere. First is like the chat. What's it? What are you saying? First is like the chat, and then before you know it, he's asking for the landlord countermeasures. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call my stream donations, by the way. Oh, land man. <laughs> landlord countermeasures. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll put it out there, okay? If anybody would like to support the channel, um, their memberships are available. It unlocks more emojis for you. And uh, yeah, don't worry about donations. That's, 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 that's different. But uh, if you'd like to, to sign up, you get access to very terrible exclusive content. And, uh, and you get to spam really, really stupid emojis on these live streams. And you get to tell all your friends how cool you are for doing it. That's the real benefit. You'd be like, hey, I was hanging out with this bald dude on Monday night. And uh, I put a picture of a, of a frog on the internet. And they'll be like, dude, how, how can I have your life? How are you this cool? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what we all aspire to in the end. All right, chat. By the way, on the full immersion thing, am I allowed to drink water if my character cannot drink water? Because I'm, your boy's thirsty. <laughs> and I, I, don't, I don't think I can open my helmet uh, in the middle of this moon field here. No? Okay, cool. Thanks. You guys are so kind. Really, really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so are you running place? around with the, the glass on you right now? Wow. I have 44 plastic sheets and 22 glass. <laughs> Uh, in, I'm coming back. <laughs> right. Home. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, com it's coming home. It's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Great books. Yeah, dude. Oh, there you go. There you go. Tato's got the, the opossums with an open mouth. The pogsum. Perfect. There you go. That's the, that's the, that could be you, chat. If only. Okay, we're going to have to crate a base this thing up. I think that's definitely a goal for today. Um, I will put the nickel in the lockers. Oh, here's your glass, sir. Yeah, uh, and the, the do you have the second epic as well? I it's on it's inside. 
Like an APC is inside. It's inside. Yeah, and I'll put the data disk inside the airlock console. If you want. Yeah, sure. Oh, right, I see. Yeah. Uh, I will put the nickel down here. Okay, so we have 200 nickel exactly. So that's for both stacks. It's perfect. Um, I found 98 gold. I'm gonna go find some silver. Okay, cool. Um, ah, these batteries are running a little low. Let's uh, put this one in the base. Is this your welder tank? Yeah. Okay, cool. That'll be fine to use. I'll do the welding. I think you should get a fishbowl for even more immersion. Oh, no. Uh, I, I might have started something with this. <laughs> I, Let's I, get this I, out on a trip. I, I don't know if I'm ready to... I don't know if I'm ready to finish. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I mean, the Andy Weir books are fantastic. Have you read them, Elmo? Or have you watched The Martian? Uh, uh, no, yeah. I've seen, seen the movie, yeah. Seen the movie, okay. It's, it's the author's Andy yeah. Weir. He writes the books. And he did one right. called Artemis, which is about um, a lunar colony moon colony and uh, yeah. the whole the whole premise is like it's about how this uh this woman she's like a mechanic and she finds herself on the wrong side of the law i think no spoilers here it's like the beginning of the book and uh, then she has to like you know classic classic andy weir style she's got to like science her way out of being on the fucking moon <laughs> in, in a hard <laughs> vacuum <laughs> with like nothing but like some duct tape and a spacesuit kind of thing um they're good fun yeah <laughs> Sounds sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's almost like we've seen that before. And he's got a new <laughs> book out now, which is I think it's the same thing, but it's on a space station. Like he's definitely got a formula going on. <laughs> uh, actually, that that reminds me. I wanted to ask you: Have you watched The Expanse? No. Oh, really? You? I think you'd like it. It's uh, it's if you're into hard sci-fi, like realistic sci-fi, it's uh, it's one of the better ones out there. The Expanse. Um, I'm I'll reading those books out. now. Yeah, yeah, it's on Amazon Prime or on Pirate Bay, uh, depending on how you feel about Jeff. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's really really good, man. It's definitely worth it. You liked Hail Mary, uh, Tater? Is that the new one on the station? Is that the is that the new book? Because I've only read Artemis and The Martian. And. Uh, I remember when The Martian came out, there was a Cinema Sins video on it. You know, the guy who's like, oh, this movie did all this stupid stuff, and here's why, kind of thing. And everything he complained about was, like, literally explained in the book. And I must have been, I don't know, 19, 20 at the time, and I'm watching this, and I'm like... In the comments, there's just me typing like, "Well, actually, you'll see on page 147 that um, this, this, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is addressed by the author. <laughs> I, was, I was the kind of commenter I now hate. <laughs> Crazy how nature do that. Oh, thank you so much for the additional likes, everybody. And thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, can I ask you, chat? This is a general poll. I don't want to actually run a poll because I know it's annoying to people. But have you... Uh, how did you find this stream? Are you an Elmo viewer? Are you an uh, largely unemployed viewer? Are you, a, are you a Switch? Are you both? What's your, uh, what's your poison? Because uh, we're trying to, we're trying, I'm trying to collate that data here. Need some numbers. All right, I have the iron or the invar or constantin or whichever one it is. I don't know. Uh, and I have some more copper, but I haven't found any lead yet. I don't need lead. How's the how's the solar plan going? Uh. Oh, it looks like they're tracking. Uh, they are pointing 90 degrees the wrong direction, but they are. Yeah, they yeah. Are, it, it's working, sort of. It's doing something. It's doing something, for sure, yeah. I mean, zero watts of uh, generation, that's on complaint. Those are great numbers, yeah. Ah, shit, dude, we need, a, we need another stacker. There are cable coils on the floor out here. I will make that quickly. Okay. Have we still not got a hydraulic pipe bender? Oh, no, there it is. All right. I was about to lose yeah, my it's... damn mind. Yeah, okay, cool. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Um, that's actually too close. Let's pick that up one. I want this 
guess it's gonna have to go here. Right there, perfect. So, uh, when did Station has actually come out? You said you've been playing since the start, right? Since... Uh, it released on Early Access in at the end of 2017. Oh, wow, that's quite a while. Okay. Yeah. You, you've really been... I mean, I've only I've only started playing it, like... I'm, I think I've only got, like, 200 hours. Which is, like, 10 human days, almost. You know, <laughs> which is, like, when you think about it like that, is a very long time to play a computer game. But it has, uh... I have two and a half thousand hours in Escape from Tarkov, so... These are, these are rookie numbers over here. Um, I also have terrible life choices. So. You're from Elmatrix Cat? Okay, very cool. You're a Switch Mega Dude? Very good to know. Uh, we have one daddy when we, I have one daddy when we can have two. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to stop reading chat just for a few minutes. I'm just going to let them calm down a little. Um, do I have another... Yeah, I do. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, we are stackered up. We just need to make up the uh, hydraulic pipe bender. Not functional yet. Have you got any more iron plates by any chance? Iron sheets? Uh, no. Okay, cool. And then we just need the tool so manufactory, and we got everybody. The whole gang's here. Hey. I, I think I'm stuck on this uh, logic thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to ask you for help. Okay. How the hell do you? Uh, no, you need. You definitely need more than that. I. You need a batch rider for sure. Yeah, we got one. So yeah, it was. Yeah, it yeah. was. You read the solar angle, and then you got to do solar some maths angle. on it. You got to do some maths on it. You got to. You got to pass it into a percentage, and then track that across the sky, and then that, and then because that gives it the. You, so you got to put it into degrees out of one eighty, I think. For the for the panels to do their arc. But didn't they? Didn't they change like how? I mean, I'm not, changed like, it a like while I said, back, I did like, this in 2021, summer. so it's probably changed, yeah. They changed something about solar panels during the summer, I think. Oh, like, no. so that you could kind of, kind of take the value. Okay, no, uh, then I have just... not, I have not seen that change. We're on our own here. Chat, someone, someone start coding, okay? I want to MIPS code in my Discord <laughs> server in 10 minutes, please, thank you, okay. <laughs> Vertical uh, third. I, I, I guess I better go find some silver. It looks like we're gonna need an IC because I haven't I haven't done it with logic in a while <laughs> It's 4 45 a.m. And I haven't slept you're getting sleep deprived me excellent You don't have to do the maths anymore. Okay, so what do we read then the batch writer needs to write the vertical variable? There you go Vertical variable. Yeah, batch writer writes vertical uh... and you read solar angle That to the rescue That, where is the silver? Huh? Since you know so much, where's the damn silver? Where are you hiding it? I've been looking for like 20 minutes here. This is not what I expected the stopping point to be on this one. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, we should really get hydroponics going soon. Because this uh, plants rebalance changes the rate at which plants grow significantly. Like, yeah. they're so much slower. Um, we, are, we are going to starve. Otherwise... I think I, I think the I think the mod creator said you got about five days maximum before you gotta plant the first potatoes or you're not gonna make it. So we got right. we got a little bit of time still. Oh, guys, I found a moon hole. Going down it. Oh my god, the terrain hasn't loaded. Oh, the terrain has loaded. Nope, there's still more. Oh. Ah, that was a bit lame. <laughs> I, was, I thought we'd find the chaos gods down there. Uh, turn the solar panels 90 degrees. Yes. Yeah, that's done. That's done. Okay. So is it tracking? I might need to change how the, the sensor is oriented, maybe? Yeah, sure. I mean, play with it. But I mean, it, it does strike me as being much simpler than it used to be, right? Like, it, it is just read, write. Yeah. I, have, I still have not seen silver, and I think I'm outside of load range of the base. Yes, I am. No, 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 I can just see the lights. Okay. The base is uh, 74 degrees. We're going to go in a straight line this way. Is 
the sun sets. Oh, is that silver? Is that gold? That is iron. I'm being jabated. Base is over there. Hey, Callum, welcome to the stream. How you been? Uh, Elmo, if you don't know, Callum is one of my um, one of my other collaboration streamers. We're playing a game called oh. Magicka tomorrow. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Um, is, is that like the top-down one, sort of? I think so, yeah. We, 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 we both just sort of looked at the Steam page and we're like, yeah, spell combining, that sounds cool. And we just went yeah, with it. Yeah, so I played that one. Okay. That's a great, great game, yeah. I haven't played it yet, so we'll uh, tune in tomorrow. <laughs> you can hang out with us. <laughs> uh, does silver exist on this planetoid? Because uh, I have been walking, I have crossed the desert, I have led through my people to the promised land, and I find no silver. Ridiculous. Okay, I need to turn back before I am permanently lost. Is it still the thing where the further away you get from spawn, the better the ore density is? Is that still a function? It definitely, um, it feels like that. I don't know. Hmm. Or am I thinking of Minecraft? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, hold on. <laughs> no, I, I've heard something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? But... It definitely feels like if you put, like, uh, when you go digging, you know, a few minutes out, you find, like, a whole sorts of stuff clustered together. We should actually just make some sensor glasses and check it then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Elmo, I'm cursed. Uh, silver does not exist. It's a myth. Um, you're gonna have to Sil help me look yeah, here. Yeah, silver is hard. Oh. And you know, my test stream, uh, my, my test run this morning, when you suggested the uh, the stream, I literally yeah. I spawned on top of silver, like an entire <laughs> like an entire whole node of it. <laughs> just... Oh man. Uh, the sensor should be on a wall, not a floor. Says Mega Ultra Dude. Oh, guess... yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, that'll, that'll explain it. Okay. Oh, did you have it uh, horizontal? Yeah, I thought that made, made sense. You yeah, know? right? Like, is the sun above me? Yes or no? It, yeah, 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 yeah. And if but I put it on, like... Then you remembered you were playing Station Ears, and you're like, ah. And then, yeah. <laughs> very logical. I was like, if, if, I play, if I place it on the wall, then, you know, I'd... I'd after midday, it will be invisible, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Saw some elbow videos in the past. Your Europa playlist generally watch Station Ears because of the kind of streamers it has. Sadamo in the past, you and Duke Euphoria on Twitch. Okay, there you go. That's a nice answer. Thank you very much, Stefan. <laughs> um, yeah, Elba, when's the next... Uh, I mean, once your, once your Masters is done, are you still going to continue with the content creation? Or do you think you're going to... I mean, yeah, I, I never actually job. seen myself as a content creator to begin with. <laughs> no, I mean, neither did I until I... Uh, so I was working for this um, this uh, arms control group, right? Doing uh, military firearm stuff in Africa. And they uh -huh. got COVIDed hard and ran out of funding. And because uh, everybody was technically a consultant for tax purposes, we all just got like... <laughs> we all still work for them on paper, like on LinkedIn, it still says it there. But like, we uh -huh. have no hours, right? So I was... Uh, so this happened in November. And I was like, well, I guess I'm a content creator now. Because <laughs> this was like the only other thing I had going on. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I, I started doing it and I'm like, oh, it's kind of fun. I just sort of kept it up. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, I started video editing to um, as a way to feel productive while I was procrastinating in between exams. Yeah. Because I was like, I, I'm playing games anyway. Let me at least learn something. And then so I started recording the footage, editing the footage, uploading, making thumbnails. Uh, as like a, as like to learn how to do that, and then I would, my plan was like, okay, if this law thing doesn't work out, I'll, I'll like work for other people and I'll, I'll do their editing for them, uh, and then <laughs> and then you know the law thing worked out, so I didn't have to do that. But <laughs> this, that's how I got right. started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yourself, how did you get? What what made you make that first video? Uh, my my first video was on on PID controllers, which is you know a method of controlling stuff. Yeah. So again, it's my schooling that kind of, uh, like I said, I, I started playing Stationaires because uh, I could take literally the stuff I learned on, 
in school and you know have fun with it in this in the game right as a playground yes yeah and um, the first video was basically just uh, how how do you do PID controls in stationers that, and, that was uh, it you know people loved it and asked for more so I you know <laughs> yeah, just, so you made more yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, but now I don't I don't really see myself as a as a content creator to be honest. Yeah, it's I I just I play games and have fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sometimes you make a video about it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's um it's a weird thing cuz like people for a long time I wouldn't tell anybody that I did this, right? Cuz I don't know why. I just felt like, oh, a little bit embarrassing like oh you know it's like i've got like a real degree and i'm like i got like a job and i'm playing computer games on the weekends and making videos and then i uh and then a friend and then my girlfriend said to one of her friends oh miles has started streaming and he's really liking it and she was like oh my god that's so cool and i was like is it and she's like yeah that's so cool and i was like well <laughs> what's this <laughs> Public perception is changed. All right, <laughs> streaming's a real job now. Nice. Okay. That was the that was the that was the moment when I was like, okay, fine, I'll uh, I'll own the label because uh, other yeah, people yeah. have started using it. Uh, uh, you're you're professional compared to me. <laughs> well, it's more like I just I I am like literally largely unemployed at the moment, so I have nothing else to do <laughs> except this. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, chat, actually, since we're all here, uh, I have some news for you. I put in an application today for the British Antarctic Survey to go up there and uh, move crates around for nine months uh, because I don't know what else to do, and it just sounds kind of fun. Uh, very cold, but kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. kind of cold, yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind of cold, yeah. Emphasis on the kind of cold. Um, so we should probably so cool this thing down, right, by just smelting a bunch of stuff through it, and we can put our solder sure. through once we eventually have that. Not that it exists. Uh, I mean, if you don't have it for soldier, soldier yet, then I would wait. But yeah. well, I mean, we, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's, we don't it's need the really, resources right now. Yeah, it's really easy to just. Um, I cannot really find it. lead or solder, man. Like oh, I, lead or lead or silver, sorry, like anywhere. Do you, do you have have any copper? I don't, but there is some. Is fourteen grams in there? Uh. No, I don't have any copper. Didn't I just put some copper in here? Where'd the copper go? Oh, oh there I it is. I placed it in the locker. There yeah. you go. There's, there's, I got 15 <laughs> grams. I'm a manic cleaner. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see something laying around. I'm putting you got it, it Yeah, in you've been locker. distracted. It's over. He's gone. <laughs> We've lost him. Um, I just need... I'm little... Yeah, I'm gonna look for copper. Okay, cool. Please do. I'm gonna print up some shoots. Let's get this... Let's get this system functional. What do I need? Iron. You have no iron? Joking. Got lots of iron. I want to get uh, like one of those stationary batteries up before daylight comes around. Yes, so that we yes, can, yes, uh... yes. Let's, uh, let's, let's try and maybe go for... I usually go for like three or four at once. Just just because then you don't have to... Like I do a lot of bulk, bulk crafting. Three or four batteries? Yeah, at, at one go. Because it's just Crazy, basically... Man. It's just steel. Like really. <laughs> Well, yeah, and cover. <laughs> oh, right, that's, the, oh, that's that's what we're missing. Yeah, I forget, I forget. Um, I, I'm also going to print up the tool manufactory now, because we don't have that. Uh, tool factory. All right, the base is looking pretty, it's pretty put together. Um, we do need an airlock, so maybe that's something I can work on while you're mining. Uh, okay, it's your turn to go look for resources. I'm, yeah, I quit. Yeah, yeah. I quit. I can't. I can't. I can't anymore. <laughs> a man can only look at so much gray before he goes mad. All right. Turn off all this. Uh, hydroponics. Hydroponics. We need iron. Lots and lots of iron. This. Give me this. That in here. Oh, and this is not hot enough. Get it all smelted up ahead of time. Hi, chat, Mr. Baldy. Rude, but also accurate. How you doing, guys? Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> that story just sounded sad. Nah, it's fine. PID is the bane of my existence. Uh, why? Why? What's the what's the what's the pain there? Explain. Explain yourself. You're in a room <laughs> of PID enjoyers. Okay. 
Everyone's telling me not to get eaten by polar bears. Listen, no promises, okay? I, I'd make an excellent nutritious snack. Have you seen these cheeks? Serve in cake. Okay. <laughs> uh, hydro pump. Pipe bender. Oh, sorry. Does... I... No, no, it's there. Go for it. Does the pipe bender have one... iron? Yes, it does. Good. Yeah, I need one. Uh, one no, no, of take those. it. Take it. Take it. Take it. All right, and then let's make up some. I think I'll. St Should we start with like nine planters? Uh, let's get the water system done sure. first. Let's get let's get that done first because uh, we're not gonna have enough water for everything. Uh, silicon. Uh, let's get we'll get two water bottle fillers. Because otherwise they lie on the floor and it annoys me. If it's the British Antarctic po survey, probably no polar bears. Yes, yeah, also there are polar bears in the Antarctic, guys. That's the. You're thinking of the Arctic. <laughs> Wait, I'm going south, my man. Not, not, not north. <laughs> um, your, your concern is noted, though. Thank you, chat. Very kind. I think I think all they've got down in uh, Antarctica is penguins and some seals and maybe have an any... occasional whale. Do we have any loose items laying around right now? Uh, there's some stuff inside the base, yeah. But nothing... I mean, I'm going to get splattered against the wall if you pull that vent. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, the second you asked, I was like, what's, what's he talking? And then I was like, wait, no, I know where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, the tool manufacturer is still with us, so crisis averted. Here we go. All right. Four printers down. That took a lot longer than it normally does, but that's okay. Uh, we have done a lot of other stuff. We have so many... So many resources. Really nice. Yeah. Get this thing running. So, uh, so have you... you how often do you read the comments? Sorry, on your uh, on your videos. You read them all? Yeah, yeah, I read them all. I don't and get too you, many. Would you say that like they're sane or insane most of the time? <laughs> <laughs> just asking for a friend because no I mostly say no, no. <laughs> because some of the some of the stuff i have gotten on this europa playthrough man is like hold on chat i'm actually just going to bring up my favorite one right now i, I I'll, yeah. let me let me i want to get it exactly right people just they'll type the most unhinged insane nonsense <laughs> like on other people's <laughs> videos like let me pull this thing up i'm gonna name and shame here uh oh please don't tell me i responded to it because <laughs> i you know you know on youtube you can show that you can filter by the ones you haven't responded yeah. to that's usually how i keep track of the the insane ones is i like pin them by not <laughs> responding to them <laughs> then i like show my friends i'm like look at look what these people are writing uh oh here's a good one by joel gratton <clears throat> I play for fun, not efficiency. <laughs> That's true. I've seen your stream of EFT and your series on Dyson Sphere program, and you're efficient more. Oh wait, that's a nice comment. Never mind. <laughs> I, 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 I did him dirty for no reason. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry to uh, my opinion. My apologies to Joel Gratton for catching strays on that one. A uh, little few stray bullets there. Um, it was it was some dude who wrote. It was basically along the lines of you're using the wrong kinds of batteries on Europa. And I was like, okay. And he's like, never do it again. And I was like, is this a threat, <laughs> man? Why? Why is this so intense? Like, what are we talking about here? Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh. Waste tank caution. Oh shit! My waste tank is cautioning me. Okay, it's time. It's time, Elba. The base must be pressurized. Oh yeah, I'm down to like uh, 700 kepascals in the in the old O2 tank. Jack, we'll come back to the we'll come back to the audit. No one panic. Yeah, don't, don't 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 use that one. Don't use which one? Oh, you don't need to pressurize the base with this one. No, no, I wasn't going to. I was going to drop some ice. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just putting my because air that... tank. Putting my air yeah, tank. Yeah, that there. one is great for filling the air tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I keep it for. Now, otherwise, you have to set up like a whole pressurizing system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to start moving some food inside. I think we're getting there. Uh, tables, 
uh, the ground penetrating scanner we're probably just going to end up recycling and never use it. Because by the like, I I just it's too inconvenient, really. Yeah, yeah, I don't just waste of time. Yeah, no, it's not not worth it. Chat, I'll, I'll continue right. the audit. I, everyone's panicking. Okay, hold on. Let me. I have to find this. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ah, there it is. I found it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here there. we go. Okay, okay. Everyone ready? <laughs> you ready for this one? <laughs> a comment by Zero Nim. Anime profile picture, as expected. Using a small battery in suit is already overkill, in quotation marks, for Europa, but you still have lights on. Hashtag never do it again. <laughs> okay, man. Like, why... Why are you so tilted about this? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Also, chat, why did no one tell me that my webcam frame was has been on this video the entire time? And it looks like shit. Huh? Huh? Why did no one tell me? It's just been floating there by itself. You have one job, people. That is to do mine for me. Okay? Get it together, <laughs> please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's run some cables. Eaten by penguins is so much worse. Listen, that's probably true, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna pretend that like, if anything, maybe you could like learn a cool dance move from them. If that movie has taught me anything, right? That was Happy Feet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the dancing penguins. Uh, Elmo, yeah. listen, I I have a question for you. I noticed that when we started this uh, playthrough, I placed a area power oh, controller no. inside of the base, and I noticed that it's not there. Oh yeah anymore oh, that's it's it's on the solar panel uh, control thing ah so we need some solder then what you're telling me uh, yeah we can we can run it from outside just now so okay that's that's not solder okay. <laughs> but we're getting no, closer no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby steps yeah. we're getting somewhere getting somewhere uh we also need a lot more cable coil so let's get that printing oh nice 22 already all right airlock is wired the, uh, I just need to get the. Did you did you only print one extra passive vent? Yeah. Okay, cool. I will print up the other, and I'll set up the cabling for the other active vent. But I don't think we're gonna need it. Uh, not for a very long time. Uh, and then. And I, we, I refired uh, the furnace, so it's it's good for a bunch of ore and stuff. If okay, you cool. Feel like. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think I have anything left on me. Oh no, station battery's ready. Fantastic. Yeah, you can just uh, hook that up, I think. Will do. Uh, let's actually get some heavy cable going. Let's just start, you know, let's just do it right from the start. I'll put this over here for the sure, moment. Sure, sure, sure. Um, because that way we can run the coal fire as well, without shorting. Because with the, with the solar panels, it might short. Uh, I think we're good there. Alright, so that's printing heavy cable coil. Uh, we have not plugged in the tool printer, but that's fine because we don't need it. Uh, I need pipes. Uh, do you view... 15 is enough. Yeah, that'll do it. I like to do this little like snake thing out of my active vents because it uh, it like pre-pressurizes the pipe system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's handy. It, it, it genuinely shaves like five seconds off each cycle, which yeah. adds up. Okay, cool. We have a sort of functional airlock. I'm just going to program it. Have you got the labeler? Uh, no, I think I put it in a locker. Okay. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah. Good man. Hey, welcome uh, back, Luna Shots. Of... Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm more of a min minimalist when I'm playing. Uh, you know, I. I don't you always bother with the airlocks and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, this guy. This... <laughs> no, I, I've noticed that with a lot of the more experienced players, you guys kind of just like manually do a lot of the stuff I've prioritized early, which I find yeah, really yeah. interesting. Because um, I like, I, you don't actually need an airlock, not on the moot. We can just manually cycle this, right? 
Um, well, yeah, and because you have ices, like pressurizing that base is two stacks of oxide, and, and it is you done. literally have yeah. yeah. So you, you could you could pressurize it and you do a can of soup right, and then just and then just lose dump it, dump everything out back out, <laughs> and repressurize whenever. Yeah, see that's true. Like that's the kind of like game knowledge that I'm I'm starting to understand now. You know, and I think it's just because I hadn't really experimented much. I've been watching a lot of tutorials and trying out yeah. uh, other people's ways of playing without testing my own. Uh, excuse me, why do I only have four stacks of cable? Oh, because I have only have zero gold. Uh, that might do it. Yeah. Uh, we got more gold though. Just got gold out the damn wazoo. Here we go. Alright, what is the next project? Next project is going to be... Uh, I think we're going to print out our hydroponics base. Phrase. No, no, actually let's get the water system finished, like I said. So we're going to... Uh, do we bother with a portable tank or just go straight to a fixed one? What do you want to do? Uh, I wouldn't bother with a tank at all, but... <laughs> just, you, just use the pipes. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's the, not the necessary. Pipes... Yeah, because you can pressurize wow. up to 60, right? Pascals. Or yeah, 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 yeah. That's I mean. plenty. That's plenty. Let's stack these up. All right, nice. The base is coming together, man. It's looking good. Looking but, uh, very yeah, if good. If you have to go for a tank, then do the proper one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I think we'll skip it for now. We, although this mod does make plants use like significantly more water. Ah, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's so it's such a small, small number anyway. You reckon? Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll take your word for it. I'll, I'll follow your lead on this one. All right, then I'm gonna make us up some invar, uh, iron and nickel. We have the pieces we need. Uh, do we have a valve? Yes, we do. Uh, that's an easy done. I just need to get some ice quickly. Because uh, if we have invar, we can start making the advanced. Uh, Oh wait, no, we need the printer. So we uh, need the Invar and Constantin, I think? Or Invar and Constantin, just Constantin? Yeah. Uh, We just, well, we have... Uh, let me, I'll check now. Um, we have a... We have enough nickel to do both. We just need copper for the Constantin. Uh, copper for Constantin. Yes, yeah, two stacks. Uh, see if I find something out here. And of course, uh, we, are, we still need... You said you found silver, we just need lead. The other one. Uh, yeah, yeah, someone in chat said, by the time the ground printing radar is useful, you have sensor goggles. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. 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 It's. Uh, I don't think... I don't really see the point in it. I thought it was an aesthetic choice to incorrectly frame all the info in the bottom right. Oh, thanks, Tater. Okay, cool. Yeah. My webcam frame is normally this large square, right? And uh, when I switched over to my station year scene, I forgot to disable it. And so it was just chilling there on screen <laughs> this entire time. <laughs> and not a single person said anything. <laughs> oh, man. Now the frame is gone, but your logo is still in front of the webcam feed. Job done. Dude, this is gameplay. This is gameplay. Uh, I don't even know how to turn that logo off. That's been, that's watermark has been there, like my entire channel's history. Real question, when are you going to start farming weed? Listen, I don't think there's a mod for that yet. Elmo, get on it. No. Let's, let's, no? Yeah. <laughs> Time to start cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta cook, Jesse. Okay, so we have silver and gold for a lot of electrum here, but electrum okay. requires low pressure, so... Yeah, I'm very much going high pressure at the moment. We are making... Cheeky, yeah. Cheeky I think we can do that last. Yeah. Uh, how, do you, how do you like to cool down your furnace to get the... Um, the solder. I just usually dump some water in it. Like water ice. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, it, it's fast. I, it works. Yeah, I just usually just load it up and then wait. Yeah, I mean, that works too. I'm impatient though. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, it's we... It's always something, something you can do, right? While waiting. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Invar is 18 to 20 at 1.2... Kilokelvin. Okay, and we are at 1.3 kilokelvin. I just got to drop some pressure. Okay, I hope you haven't got anything that's not nailed down. Okay, cool. We're all just, everything's a little bit on fire, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, a little bit more out. A little bit fire. Just okay. healthy. Everything's very on fire, but oh, no, it's fine. It's worth it. Worth it in the end. Ah, oh, this is giving me flashbacks to Europa. 
Uh, <laughs> I need, okay, point one megapascal. There we go. We have Invar. Yay. Okay. We have next, Invar? We have Invar. Check. And then we need Constantine is the next one. We just need the copper, yeah, for the Constantine. I will pre prime the nickel, uh, awaiting your copper drop off. Okay. So hard to find uh, stuff in the, in the night. I know. Actually, you know what? Let me print us up a couple of lights that we can use. Ah! Elmo, uh -huh. there was a casualty. Okay. Uh, in the fire. We are down one APC. It actually caught fire. I didn't expect that. Ah. Yeah. Not the worst. No, it could be could be worse, for sure. Oh, we got some scrap back there. That's fun. We can recycle that later. Uh, whoopsie. Well, now I need to go dig up some power. I guess we can just run it straight off the station battery for now, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna have to do that. Okay, where's that station battery? Gotta make sure we don't go past the threshold. How much nickel did you chug in there? Uh, where'd you put the station battery, man? Oh, I, no. I didn't. Oh, no. Oh no, don't tell me, <laughs> don't tell me we lost the battery. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no. It's not inside. Oh no. <laughs> we might be dead here. Uh, okay, solar panels? No, Sorry, no, no. you're not tracking anymore. Oh, I need to borrow oh, this well, quickly. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here oh, you it found is. it? Oh, okay, 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 cool. Crisis yeah. averted. <laughs> I was never worried. It's all fine. <laughs> we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Off to a great start. There we go. Yeah, because without an APC, there's no way to provide power, right? Um, Other than I mean, the station can, battery, I mean. We can always wait for sun. Uh, for, oh, that's for true. Daytime. Just work in the daytime, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Cheers, Meg Ultra Dude. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, okay. Where was it, out of interest? Oh, uh, just over here. Oh, okay. Let's kill it. Ah, found some more wreckage. All the little collection. So where's the Constantine going in the transporter? Uh, uh, yeah, we should start printing up the, the the next stages. Okay, the Invar is in there as well. Let's see, where do you put the stationary battery? I just usually just uh, outside. Outside, right? Makes sense. Um, I guess let's do, yeah, right over there. That, and we can put the, the, the coal generator somewhere else. I don't need a coal generator. <laughs> <laughs> You're above it. You've, uh, <laughs> you've moved past the need. Yeah, yeah, but it's just so easy. <laughs> you pick up these. Let's see. So I'll I'll wire the front. The... You do the back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Although I think I'll uh, just slightly turn it. Yeah. Sure. And we'll have the input that side. Okay, cool. That's working. Um, and then we put the output over here. Oh, because then we can split it yeah, into the base as well. Clever. Very clever. All right. Yucko. Put that on. There we go. Oh, by the way, chat, news. Uh, as of Thursday, I will be A1.1 level French qualified. Thank you. Please hold your applause. This is the equivalent of a seven-year-old child. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, making, we're making big progress on the stream and in real life. I've, uh, uh, to do all the UN jobs, right, you have to speak French. Like, it's a minimum requirement, basically. Because the, uh, I mean, with the UN headquarters being in Switzerland, right? There's, or Geneva, it's, you speak in French. Um, right. Even if it's, like, officially, English is also a major language, but unless you're in the US, it doesn't matter. Like, you have to speak French. UN is French. Um, kind of one of those things people don't, I don't think they actually realize how much sway that language still holds. Uh, we have enough, we can do, we can actually do our Electrum as well. Do that um yeah i will cook the electrum i uh, should 
I should might as well just do all three stacks here, right? Just do like a super batch. We need so much of this stuff. Yeah, yeah if we got enough enough gold for it. Uh, uh, let's yeah, just sure. check. We have one, two, three silver. One, two, three gold. Yeah, we can do it. Lovely. Got silver. Nice. Uh, did this stuff? Does this stuff working? By the way, can we turn this on? Yes. Yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Or did something just explode? We're out of power, but yeah. Oh right, yeah, the battery. <laughs> That's the next step, of course, is uh, put power <laughs> in the battery. Now, all the ore has been damaged because it was all slightly on fire. Ah, yeah, the yeah. labeler was almost destroyed. Solar panel, <laughs> almost gone. Oh, look at our look at our uh, for the memories. That we got a little off switch left over. <laughs> see, well, <laughs> we'll have to put that yeah. on a shrine somewhere. <laughs> later. So we don't forget our roots. All right, we just got to dump some pressure, right? It's got to be. Yeah, right, right. Oh, God, oh. again with this? Jesus, okay, hold on. I think, can we move this vent? I think that's the next step. So, let's see. What's the problem? Why is it catching fire? I'm not sure. I mean, it's no volt house in there, so it shouldn't catch fire. Maybe we is, have is, is there? any volat Yeah, I was about to say in the local atmosphere. No, there's NOS. Yeah, but, but it without... needs volatiles. Yeah, you need a, re a reactant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 it might be might be just be too hot. Yeah, maybe it's actually just like like <laughs> it's actually just auto combusting. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what I'm gonna do to avoid this is I'm going to move that vent further away. Just get some more frames. Back a bit. It doesn't hurt to do that. And then as for the solar generator, I know you have your standards, okay? But I have none. So I'm gonna put them I'm gonna put this thing down <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh this can go just over here for the moment. As an emergency. Do you have the the rest of the pipes on him? Uh no, we don't have any more pipes. We'll have to print some. I used I used most of them. Oh actually there's yeah. a, there should be a couple, there's like five or six left. Yeah, found them. So you just want to go up, right? Yeah, yeah, just go up. Yeah. Uh, tell me when you're done. Uh, that's all the pipes, at least. Okay. And we can. I think you need one more. Yep. To touch there. Yep. 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 Uh huh. Let's get a pipe over here. All right, and then we also need a st weld in. Mind, I have one right well, here. Well, Will the pipe attach without welding it? Oxygen low. Yeah. On the on the um, on the joint between the frames. Yeah. I'm gonna have to just vent my waste tank real quick. I just want to save the CO2. Let's seal it in here. There we go. Uh, and then I wire this into the batteries. Turn the airlock on. And that means I can vacuum out. There we go. Okay, cool. That way we can save our CO2. Yeah, that's working. Perfect. I'll put down some more frames. Why not? I think I need you to continue making heavy coil. That's your electro. Hey, okay. Let's uh let's go I think let's yeah, let's get the next tier of sprints. Solder. Solder, <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> God damn our worst enemy. Alright, then I'm gonna continue <laughs> printing uh, heavy cable so we can switch over to that at some point. Right. Yeah, we we don't have lead, right? No, that's that's the missing piece. Uh, and now we need right. some more iron, but that is the missing piece. Uh, I'll go find some lead. Okay. Good man. I am going to do some tidying up around here. All right, you need to be less on fire. Thank you. Um, this can go into here. Actually, no, that makes, that's fine there. I have portable air conditioner hydroponics we don't really care about. I will bring the water inside there. Yeah, and I think now is that time to actually start on this. So let's do some liquid pipes. Uh, I will want a ice crusher, ice crusher, 
Okay, we have some pipes there. Very nice. Wait, do we have some pipes there? Uh, I think I used everything. I mean, liquid pipes. Uh, I haven't seen them. Okay, then no, we don't have any. Uh, we will need a volume pump. Uh, we won't need a pipe heater yet, right? Nah. Nah, no, no, no. We, uh, it'll, 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 it comes out at like 5 degrees or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then... After they, uh, after they added the power thing to the bottle filler, then the bottle filler will heat the water. Oh, really? I don't know yeah. that... Okay, I, I actually wasn't sure what that was about. That is really good to know. Okay, ice crusher check. We just need a single sheet of iron to weld that. For that we need a lot of iron. Or... Okay, we're making progress. We're making progress. Hello, chat. Felicitations, Richard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lights get mentioned, FPS dies. Yep, yep. I, uh, I'm a little bit concerned about that too. I don't know what kind of PC you're running, Elmo, but I've got, uh, I recently invested in the streaming beast and it runs station oh, yeah? is just fine. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm running at 200 FPS right now, so. Oh, there you go. Actually, how do I check that? What's the command? Uh, I don't know. I have turned on the FPS counter on screen a while back. I think it's in settings somewhere. Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, French has that ABC system. Yes, it does. Sorry, Chad. I haven't been very good at reading you today. I've been focused. Um, but yeah, yeah, French has so it's level A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. B2 is fluency. Uh, what do you speak any other languages besides English? Uh, obviously Norwegian, but uh... I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, other than other than Norwegian, <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, not really, no. I, I've got two hundred and thirty frames at four milliseconds. Per second. That's pretty good. What? Uh, two hundred and thirty frames per second at four yeah, milliseconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but station years isn't very resource intensive. All right, uh, we need some of this. Yeah, I, I speak um, English, obviously. Afrikaans, which is a uh -huh. uh, South African language. Um, right. I grew up with it. It's kind of like Dutch. It's like about 95% similar. Um, right, okay. Yeah, uh, I speak um, enough Korean to survive while I was down there, but not enough to like write a paper, you know? Like I could order yeah. pizza with the best of them, but that's sort of, that's sort of where it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I, uh, yeah, no, now, now, now the French as well. Uh, okay, make some more hydronic kits. I had German in school, but that's a long time ago now, so. Le français n'est pas facile à apprendre quand on parle anglais comme langue première. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Chat, don't test me. All right, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pretend to know, and then I've got Google Translate. You can't even see it. It's off screen. All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking it into the mic. My favorite is the numbers 89, 4, 20, 10, 9. Yes, it is. So in French, 20 is vent, right? And 40 is uh, 14, um, I think. And then, so your your 80 is 14 vent, which is like four 20s, literally. That's the, it's like it goes like 60, 70, 80. And then instead of saying 80, you say four 20s. It's ridiculous. If you stand That's on the, the vent, does it launch you into space? Let's test. Elmo, come back here. <laughs> I, I need yeah. you. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> uh, we'll test that theory in a second. Uh, actually, we've almost got solder temperature. We're very close. Were you lucky? Yeah. Hey. I got lead. Okay, if you have iron. A uh, little bit. Okay. We need to... We are Might out. need uh, yeah. some more. That's okay. It's, it can still cool down a little bit more. But put the lead through so long. Yeah. Oh, well, he has a stack of 50 iron. How much lead have you got? Uh, 100. And 50 iron. Okay, so we just need another 50. Oh, this is 51. Shit. Uh, let me just and use... I can use the stackers here. Too uh, cold. So. It's too cold? Yeah. It dropped... Uh, oh, it dropped. It dropped, cold, it though, dropped. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. So but, close. Uh, let's, uh, let me find a bit of iron then. Okay. And then... And then we can do uh, another a small, small firing. I, I've got it. Don't worry. 
uh, here we go. I had a, a regular stack. Uh, but I mean, we might as well. We have to. We have to fire it again anyway. So yeah. Good yeah. Thing. Okay. Next up, um, let's start printing up the mods. So mod gonna be this guy. We just need the solder. Excellent. That is good news. All right. Anything else we need for hydroponics? Uh, no, not really. Just uh, just more bays. So you keep cooking. Let me cycle this airlock. How are we doing over there, chat? You guys good? Hey, we got 32 viewers right now. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Elbo and I are doing a little terraforming on Mars challenge. Uh, let me know if you've seen anything like this before. Uh, perhaps uh, someone who has certain opinions about cows and their orientation. <laughs> you know, maybe this <laughs> might strike your memory. Let's unlock this. And... Oh, right. Uh, yes. So it turns out, Elmo, right, you might not know this about this game, but um, if you don't have any air in a room, you can't breathe. Very advanced game. Right. Yeah. 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 So see me, I, I being a professional Station Years player, I know that, uh, but I just wanted to let you know so you don't make the same mistake. I mean, yeah, that yeah, mistake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Just, <laughs> just, just, just making sure you're aware. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me put this ice crusher up while we're talking. Right over here looks good. Uh, that. And this. Okay. We are looking good for water. At least we will be very soon. Mind you, I'm French-Canadian, not the same accent as French. Most of my friends, my French-speaking friends, are French-Canadians. That's really cool, Richard Gore. Um... A lot of French Canadians get into humanitarian work, which is what I do. So that's uh, that's uh, that's really cool to hear. Um, let's move this up. Are you looking for iron, Elmer? Take that as a yes. Uh, no, <laughs> I, yeah, no, I, I got it. I got it. You got it. He got <laughs> it. He's he's coming home, boys. He's bringing it home. All right, there's our water bottle fillers. Dude, you should see the progress one... I'm making over here. Crazy. I threw in one volatile in the furnace just to get additional heat in there. And Never. Now it's, now it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you fool, Elmo. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. Um, so have you pressurized the base? I have not pressurized the base. I have I have, I have pressurized the base. Yeah, you can come eat. Just uh, be careful when yeah. you cycle the airlock, because I'm also keeping my CO2 in here. For safekeeping. Uh, need to power this now. Uh, the airlock is not active. Need to uh, have to manually cycle it. Right. Good on you for learning French, LU. My French is overall pretty poor. Was French immersion my first couple years of school in Canada, but now I just stop trying it in high school and regret it now. Yeah, look, I, it was a necessity, Tater. Um, if I don't learn French to a business competent level, I cannot progress my career, ever. And I will remain largely unemployed <laughs> for all time. Which, uh, while it's very funny to say when I'm 29, when I'm like 32, it's probably going to be kind of sad. <laughs> and so I'm trying to, I'm trying to dodge that. Uh, let's skip through here. And here, and up there. Okay. Ah, oh, Elmo, have you got a? We've got a single wire. I need one more. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, actually, I need several more. That'll do it. One sec. Look at this guy. Right at the, my hero. The nick of time. <laughs> Done. Okay. We have a water system, sort of. We just need to put water in it. Are we missing? Uh... I forgot the canister. Yeah. No, uh, an active event. I thought. But. Uh, well, we, yeah, we we're not missed. bothering with the. Uh, uh oh. My UI bugged out for a second, we're fine. I was trying to throw something that wasn't in my hands. Okay, we, we made it out. Uh, time to eat and drink, I think. Slurp, slurp. What? Did I just polish an entire can? I did. Okay, Elmo, I'm gonna. I'm leaving a can for you. Wow, they weren't joking. You really oh. use a lot more water. 
<laughs> oh, right, yeah. Yeah, like, holy shit, I just ate an entire can and it moved it up by like 6%. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna die, dude. We, we need to get these hydroponics <laughs> sorted out really soon. <laughs> oh, no. The irony would wear off after a couple years, Tater? Agreed. Yeah. Unemployment's funny until it's really not. Um, sealed room equals giant tank. Exactly. Exactly. This is the tank. We live in yeah. the tank. Um, I must say, I do much prefer streaming station ears to uh i want stream factorio and bro every single comment was just um <laughs> if you move the belt over a two millimeters to the left you'll get seven percent more efficiency on your inserters <laughs> and i'm like bro just go touch grass please <laughs> just like <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> i just like it gets me so tilted <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, like, I, I, efficiency in these games is the fun, but man, people just take it all the way sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, It yeah. just get a little crazy. <laughs> uh, let's also run these. Okay, uh, do we have enough liquid pipes to wrap this around? We do! Hey! Okay, we can actually get a pretty sizable hydroponic setup right away. I think is what we're gonna need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about uh, 200 iron front of you, but I think it's worth it. So, there is no more right. water left here, right? Uh, no, th these are call? empty, empty, empty. Uh, this one, yeah, one's yeah. got them's got 4%, if you're feeling... Uh, feeling nah, risky, it's but, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to slap a pressure gauge on this as well, because why not? Actually, that's a terrible place for that. Let me put that over here. Uh, Elmo? Yep. Uh, new courtesy rule. Close the door on the outside. Oh, right. Otherwise, otherwise we're gonna, it's, it's not a problem. I mean, I'm also <laughs> used to just playing by myself. It just <laughs> it just occurred to me that I'm probably going to do this too. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe yeah. we should just turn on the airlock just for that reason alone. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's, let's do that. Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are open. Uh, let me get some glass and do that. And of course the glass and is inside. Why wouldn't it be? No, I, I dropped it. Oh, glass you dropped it for me. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this king behavior. Put that over there. Um, turn this Have on. you spotted water anywhere nearby? Uh, I did. It's some to the. If you're facing out the front door on the right. right. Um, maybe like uh, 15 degrees, right? Uh, sensor and vent, and we don't have a light in here, do we? No. Okay. Cool. Airlock is set up. I'll put the data disk in the closet. Sure. All right. Do we have what we need? No. Where's the solder? It's not cold enough. It's almost cold enough, though. Solder. We need to get to 550k. 550? 550. That's the that's the maximum. Uh, we're right. currently at 716, so if you just drop like a few grams of uh, ice, water ice, it will cool it down enough. To, uh... Ah, it's gonna raid it. Good old backseat gaming? Exactly, Monty. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, the, it's what the internet thrives off of. Um, Factorio is full of big brain 5D chess geniuses. I know. Every single person <laughs> in a Factorio comment section has won three Nobel Prizes and has never made a mistake in their life. It's incredible to see. It's an honor to be around them, to be honest. Like, it's... <laughs> Jeremy van der Werner. Uh, you're learning with French music. It's easier for me to... Uh, who's often on the go. Besides, I'm going to go study French next spring to progress in my academic career, dreaming of working for the EU UN. That is so cool, Jeremy. I'll see you. I'll see you there, bud. That's the... We'll meet up. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, please join the Discord. We have a channel on there called the Hall of Employment, and uh, it's where you share all of your victories in life. So if you manage to uh, succeed there, please let us know. Um, that's an open invite, by the way. Chat, if you check the description of the stream, you will find one, none other than a Discord link to Largely Unemployed Dank Meme Stash, which is my Discord server. A lot of channels on there, but the Hall of Employment is one I really recommend everybody use. Please, post your, post your W's. Share with us your L's. Let us uh, let us speak to each other in the Zoomer terms that bind the world. You got more rats in the food industry than Tarkov, Mermix? Wow. 
I doubt that, man. I doubt that greatly. You're Belgium? Pronounce my last name right? I'm Bel- Okay. Van de Voorde? Van de Voorde? I'm guessing you're Dutch-Belgian, right? Because, listen, uh, ek kan Afrikaans praat, which is a uh, bikkie... Your clunk so is tight. Okay. For those monolingual. I think I'm stuck in the airlock. Oh, that's not a good thing. No. Did you manage to find ice? I'll come rescue you now. Yeah. Okay. I have a bunch of water ice, but I can't get in. You got so much better at English once you watch English movies, Mermix. Yeah, I've been listening to French music. That's been my my big one. Like just just like regular pop songs and uh okay this listen you're gonna hate this chat um i've been watching peppa pig on netflix <laughs> with a with with french dub <laughs> bonjour papa bonjour mama <laughs> it's it's because they speak so slowly it's like really easy to, <laughs> to follow <laughs> oh it's so good Largely legal coming up soon, right? I hope so, man. I've, uh, like I said, I've recorded a bunch of the scripts for it. My ass just has not found time. I'm making too many fucking YouTube, like, Let's Plays. I need to scale it back. I think after the Station Years Europa thing wraps up, I'm not going to make another series. Uh, and once the um, Dyson Sphere program... either Look, Dyson Sphere program, by the way, is currently on life support. It's not over. Uh, the dev of the Galactic Scale 2 reached out to me and has said he's going to try and fix the problems with the mod to save the playthrough. If he can do it, we continue. If he can't, we restart or we just stop. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but I need, to, I need to devote some time, man. The production quality I'm going for for the Large Illegal channel is quite high. And uh, I've done a lot of the asset creation. I've made a lot of the, the app channel, channel assets, the banners. The I've even made some assets for live streams if we have those. A lot of assets for the videos, a lot of so just sitting there doing graphic design work. Um, but I haven't, I have yet to actually record anything. I'm actually waiting for my green screen to come back. Um, I, had to, I had some changes made to it. And so the people who, who do those things are sending it back to me shortly. And then I'll be all on. I'll be all on it. Sorry, Elmo, that's a little channel. Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, yes. <laughs> So we need CO2 basically before we can start planting here. Yeah, I've just been venting my waste tank. But I don't know, I don't know how much we need with the new rebalance. Uh, I think about 5%. I don't speak a word of Afrikaans, but even I notice large unemployed having a dialect. I do. I do. I have a quite a strong accent when I speak Afrikaans. Man, well spotted. Uh, do, by the way, do you still need to be saved? Um, we yeah, get? I need the data disk. Ah. I cannot get that. Oh, I can. Hold on. I'm a genius. Wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know how I know how to do this? I literally watched you do this in a video. Where you <laughs> ram your head through the door <laughs> and drop stuff. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry. You've just been trapped in there. I also I have another gift for you, sir. Uh, this one here. There's your portable light to make uh, seeing a bit easier. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, do you need to, get, need to get inside now, or? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just dropping some stuff off. Really, no rush. Okay. Uh, how close are we here? Ah, uh, not there yet. Let me go. I'm gonna go do some ice mining. God knows we're gonna need a lot of that stuff. I cannot believe it took us this long to get solder. It's just been, it's been, elu it's been evading us. Because we've been going for like an hour and 45. Uh, yeah. Day five would, uh, you normally, like I've normally got level two tools by now. I can't wait for, I can't wait for Miles doing examples of war crimes and gaming. Got too many pans in the fire. Exactly, Tato. I've got too many things going on. But what I want to do, guys, is exactly that. I want to pivot off exclusively gaming content and start doing stuff that is related, like Elmo's literally was talking about. Start doing content that's related to my expertise, right? Because how many... You go go Google IHL Rules YouTube. See how many videos you get. There's like six from the ICRC that are about 15 years old. They're well animated, but, you know, they're not exactly uh, entertaining for an ADHD-infused audience, you know? Like, they're not TikTok ready. And that's what I'm trying to sort right. of like... Uh, trying to appeal to, right? To get the, the next generation of conscripts. Make sure they don't shoot anybody they're not supposed to. 
Um, that's the dream, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. A very different game. All right, I'm going to stick the data disk uh, inside, Elmer, just for safekeeping. Sure. Because it, it probably makes a lot of sense to keep it. In fact, we should probably tweak the pressure setting as well. Oh, you can't change the pressure with the basic airlock. Interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. Run some ice through the ice crusher. Let's see. Solder needed, what? 550 Kelvin. Yeah, I've got some water. I'm going to come over and help drop it now. Still uh, that far off. Yeah, it's, it takes forever. Because uh, we, we don't have like an atmosphere to exchange heat with. I find it's really slow. But there you go, just dumping some ice in. 628. We, we will have to put a water vent, a water drain on this now, but more price. 584, we've seen a little bit more. Okay, I'm out. Can we, what are you saying here, what the Hague? If you kill a scab, it's not a war cry, but if you press, but if he's got a press chest straight to the Hague, exactly, exactly. Désolé, mon Netherlandais n'est pas si bon. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. Your Nether your Dutch isn't that good. Is that what you're saying, Jeremy? Hold on, if I got that right, I'm so proud of myself. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Plus, now you've got a ton of recording editing experience from gaming, so you can make that content real nice and gain a following. That's what I'm hoping, Tater. I really want to, like use this because this was always a hobby right i want to use this to to launch my my more um i don't want the word what's the right word for this I don't, professionalizing because if i'm making ihl related content i can i can list that as work experience right i can ihl communications uh, oh i ran a successful or let's be honest probably unsuccessful ihl channel and uh, i can put that on the cv right oh uh, that's the dream anyway all right, Elmo, I've got a ton of water. I'll bring it back now. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just mining more iron. Yeah, yeah, please do. Uh, we must feed the dragon. All right, well, as soon as grow. we've got these mod printers done, uh, as soon as we've got them built, rather, we should probably uh, immediately build the advanced furnace and start scaling yeah. towards the uh, rockets, because once you get rockets, you have infinite resource. Genuinely. It right. is, it yeah, is yeah, yeah. insane how much they produce. <laughs> I'm running across the moon and I'm just seeing like rocks flying up <laughs> from right above where you Water. are. <laughs> Water. Thank you for the hydrate moment. We verbally, I'm great, but text based, I'm on par with a dyslexic person. Hey, listen, D is for listexia, okay? I happen to have it. Don't you make fun of my people, all right? We can't, we can't spell well enough to write the complaint letter. <laughs> hey, we have solder. Okay, I'm gonna start the mods nice, quick. And... Nice. Oh, we can yeah. finally make more APCs. <laughs> the future is now. There we go. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, so chat, what's the next major upgrade? We're gonna need more frames to make our furnace. So let's start cooking those. Uh huh. What? Why are you printing a portable light? Damn it! I didn't want to print that. But I changed the recipe. One of these. One of those. Turn you on. Okay. I have ambient light. Good feeling. Okay, the Electro Prince is going to get locked up for a while, making all these mods. But what do we do in the meantime? Oh, I don't, well, we actually don't have enough, resources. Uh, we, yeah, we don't actually have enough steel to do all four anyway, so... Let's you get on steel. that. Yeah, we're going to be just shy. Because you, uh, you need 140, and we only have 130, 105, I think. Okay. I just uh, came back with a bush barn. But, oh, perfect. Uh, okay. I will then go and get us some copper. I think we're low on that. French is your sixth or seventh language, Jeremy. My oh, man. This, this comes from a place of love, okay? 
you need to uh, start a YouTube channel and just 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 enjoy your millions, okay? <laughs> Once you, because <laughs> because uh, language YouTube is popping off right now, man. Everyone's going crazy for it. The polyglots. Language YouTube. Language YouTube. Yeah, it's crazy. Like there's that must a. Be some square. I'm not into it. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I mean, it's probably just because I've been, like, looking up Google Translate 16 times a day for the past month. Hey. So, uh, it's probably why I've been getting getting it. But the, uh, I've been noticing, like, in some of these channels out there, they'll have 60, 70,000 subs, but they'll pull, like, 2 million views a video. And it's like, I went to my uh, hometown and spoke three new languages to people who used to think I only spoke English. Whatever. And then... People right. Just love yeah. It. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. That's, that's an interesting premise, right? It's like, oh well, how would people react? All right, Elmo, the next milestone. Okay. Drum roll, please. We have achieved electronics printer Mark II. Nice. Please hold your applause. Okay, you don't have to hold it that much. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, this thing is working. Awesome. Let's go. Next up, we need to get the autolathe mod. Okay, that's going. Autolate mode. I, I don't think I've ever made that one. Well, actually, that's a good point. What do I even want from that? Powered shoots? No, but you can make those without it. Nah, let's skip it. Let's save the steel. Let's go straight to hydraulic. Oh, no. Do you know what you need from it? You need to make the rock. No, the rocket parts made the electronics printer. Mm. Yeah, what do you need, what do you need the, the autolate mode for? Uh, we don't, actually. I'm thinking. Yeah, chat, what do we need the autolate mod for? I always just make it out of completionism, but I now that I think yeah, about yeah. it, I don't think you actually need it. Um, and some silicon. All right, then I'll the make the advanced furnace. So like, pipe bender. Yeah. yeah. I'll make the pipe advanced furnace and then I'll make the pipe bender. Yeah. And obviously you need the tool manufactory as well. So is terraforming for real? Can you now terraform planets in this game? Count of War, yes you can. Thanks to Elmo Elmatrix, the, the other person in this Discord call here. Uh, he is, uh, he's the mod author. Elbow, why don't you give chat, there's a lot of new people here, why don't you give them the breakdown of the mod, man? Right, um, so the terraforming mod basically just turns your entire world into a huge, huge tank. Uh, which means that, you know, you can dump a gases in it and it will stay. Obviously it will dilute heavily, but it'll stay. And it spreads out and a then, lot, so you have to put quite a lot yeah. to find it for location, yeah. Right. So, um... And of course, everything, anything you take from it, so you can basically vacuum a planet or fill a planet with with atmosphere. Yeah. So you uh, and there's a highly complex temperature model thing behind the whole thing, so you can tune the temperature based on what gas composition you have in the world. And thus, you can make, for example, moon into a habitable place, like Earth. To plant. Yeah. And that's the dream. But it's a very large scale project. So. Yeah, this is a very distant oh, dream. I, I did say yeah. I did say in the announcement the very, 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 very long journey starts today. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kazo Evil, he's one what he's probably looking at like a hundred hours of playtime on that save. And he's only just uh, starting to get to the um Yeah, he's like he's gonna he's difference. closing in on hundred hours, yeah. Yeah. Uh, closing in on hundred, okay, okay. Yo, that's a that's quite so, a project, eh? So each day is 20 minutes in, in stationers. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not planning to edit this into content. This will be live streams. Like if people want to yeah. watch two and a half hours of this, they're more than welcome to. I hope we're entertaining. <laughs> um, okay, Elmo, I'm going to slap the advanced furnace over here. Over there. So do you want to make your the advanced furnace you just did a video on? Or do you want me to set up an uh, advanced furnace? Actually, can, yeah, can you do it? Let's. I'd like to see what you make, because I mean, I. I sort of know how to do it now, so I'd like to see your your take on it. Because I know I saw I saw your no logic one, which is really cool, or your no yeah, IC yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. In fact, you know, when I was making that tutorial, um, that was the that was the one I was planning on explaining again. But your video was good enough, and I was like, actually, this isn't needed. But then I saw Basil's right. um, I saw Basil's guide, and I saw that people hadn't really made like a nice clear guide from it. Uh, and I was like, well, there we go. Time to steal some content. <laughs> so uh, the only thing I, I mean, you did you did the, his setup really well. I I, I love the uh, I love the tutorial video. 
thank you. There's only one thing though that has changed since then. Okay. Which no for that I don't think there is a single actual video that has covered the update. Oh, we're breaking so. new ground today. What do we what do we <laughs> what's the change? Uh, the change is that you need to give everything an atmosphere. Oh, so it has to so be sealed. You, it has to be within, a, it has to have an atmosphere around it, basically. If you put it inside a frame, it will constantly cool down. Let's no get this out way. on a track. I've been fighting with that and I was stuck on it. Oh, that's such a huge, okay, light bulb moment. <laughs> Look at that. Hey Marcus, hello. You sit and you watch and you work anyways. Guess supposed to work, but nah, good man. Refusing to work is a moral good. <laughs> good for you, buddy. <laughs> You're on the right channel for that kind of behavior. All right, Elmo, we need we need some more. I'm gonna print some large batteries, man. I know we can't afford this deal, but I'm losing my mind with these small ones. Uh, do you oh, want right. a large yeah, Do you yeah, want a large sure, battery sure. for your light? Or actually, do you know what uh, else we could do, which is much cheaper? No steel, we just go wireless. We get the little batteries for our lights, so as long as we're around the base, they charge. For our pocket lights. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's just, let's do that. That's, uh... Let's do the power transmitter. We'll, we'll only need one, and it uses like 50 watts, I think. It's it's really not much. Just a convenience thing. And then I think it's just like iron, gold, copper for the, the small batteries. Did the, the advanced furnace finish? It did, it did. It's, um... In my butt. No, nope, it is in the it is in the shelf. Right. Which way do you want it to face? Uh, probably towards our workshop, where we've got everything else oh, facing. Like yeah, that. just there. That yeah. looks good. That makes sense. Oh, and you know what else we should print up is some more power controllers. Replace the ones I blew up. I mean, uh, the ones that yeah, sure. uh, were uh, mysteriously damaged <laughs> in an <laughs> in a industrial accident. <laughs> So you're gonna need a few active and stuff. Man, do they have resources? Did you find any copper? I did not find any copper. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. That's a complete lie. Here you go. There's some copper, and there's some copper. I did find some copper. Let me uh, let me put out this. I think I'm also going to start switching us over to heavy cable. My current project. Sure, sure, sure. That needs to happen sometime. Might as well do it now. Uh, I'm gonna refire this furnace. Oh. Put the cable there. I'd say we've been making pretty good progress so far. Pretty happy with it. Um, uh, I we I haven't found that we've like we're not conflicting with each other's design styles, which is nice. Your silence tells me that I have definitely misunderstood oh, yeah. the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I just <laughs> lost focused. my thought there for a no, second. No, 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 it's complete. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, let's this over to heavy cable. And I'm thinking, uh, you, you, we might need to. Mm -hmm. We might, we might need some plants going. Yeah. Really fast. I think so too. Uh, that's going to be once I've done the power, I'm going to do that. Going to plant also, do you have a fire over here? A fire. No, I don't see a fire. Okay. Then it's just on my screen then. Oh, but it is. <laughs> it is hot there. Hold on. Oh, it was. It was like it was a hundred degrees for a second, and it dropped down. That was weird. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I'll have you guys know, by the way, if you look at my uh, my pressure readout, we are now have we actually have temperature around us. So we are we are successfully terraforming Mars. It's begun. Oh, sorry, the moon. Sorry, cows. My bad. <laughs> Just, but we have successfully started the process. Uh, that's pretty cool. In fact, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at our atmosphere and see what we've managed to create so far. So we currently have six pascals of primarily CO2 with a little bit of nitrogen. If I move further away from the furnace, we're looking at about. What? Oh, that is my 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 uh, my jetpack is polluting. We're looking at about 0.3 pascals of almost entirely CO2, 41%, so more than half, no, almost half, sorry, almost half CO2. Ah, it's not bad. Progress. Okay. What are your favorite nuts, chat? Mine are almonds and pistachios? Listen, okay. That's, that's a dangerous question to ask on the internet. 
What's your favorite nut, Elmo? Uh, oh, uh, cashew. Did you? I mean, okay, look. Uh, honestly, for me, macadamia. Not one you see very often, but I'm crazy about them. Macadamia. You ever had a macadamia nut? No, I can't say I have. They're like these, like they're like waxy spheres. They're really nice. I, I grew up on a, a farm, and uh, we had a little macadamia orchard there from a previous owner. And uh, that was, uh, well, we, but <laughs> I was telling the story on stream the other day and my friend pointed out that because we were living on the farm and in exchange for living there, we, we didn't pay rent. We worked on the farm and he's like, bro, you were literally like medieval peasants, just like <laughs> working the landlord's fields <laughs> for money. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, oh, shit, much. that's exactly what it was, <laughs> which was uh, that was a tough that was a tough pill <laughs> to suddenly have to swallow. <laughs> Um, but the, that, 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 the guy who we rented from had, uh, he had a macadamia orchard and, uh, it was so nice because he could just go there and he had to like, get to, he had to fight a few squirrels to get them. Just endless right. macadamia nuts. Uh, we ain't copper. Have we managed uh, to smelt any? Yeah. Uh, you can take this one. Oh, it's yeah, thank yeah, you. coming through there. Very nice. Yeah, we're on day six. We definitely need to get started on that uh, the hydroponics. I just want to make these little batteries. Priorities, you know? Yeah, you get in there. Awesome, I have light. And Elmo, yours is printing now. Go grab it. That's for oh, your uh, pocket, uh, that's for your my pocket light. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, I'll grab Oh, no. Oh, no. I grab it. <laughs> All right, lovely. Uh, I got some smooth jazz playing on my side. Sorry if I'm not talking much. It's very relaxing. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> um, can you connect heavy cable and light cable? Like, will it? It will transfer power. Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, it it All will. Right. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not a great idea. I just need to get this airlock turned on, briefly. Uh, and then we just need an APC over there. Hey, okay, cool. And I have an APC, I think. I had one. Oh, there it is. And then I just need another few large batteries for those. Yeah, because our, our extra large battery was destroyed in the fire. <laughs> right. The fire. The, the fire, <laughs> yes. yeah. The, the fire, which has no known origin... No known reason. It was just nature, you know. It just happens sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you find macadamia is only tasty in ice cream. Look, that's a uh, listen. I don't. I'm an understanding man. You know. I don't. I know. I don't think of myself as a judgmental person. You're allowed to be wrong. It's just. Could you do it more quietly? <laughs> that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Okay. Everything is cooked in here. I am going to go and start the planting process. I just wanted to get this uh, APC down so that we didn't just have everything die if it lost power again. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing the um, uh, the furnace. Okay, cool. Trying to get everything ready for it. Yeah, perfect. Get on it. I, uh, Elmo, I don't... Did I flip on the APC outside? I think I did. I, um, I did. Oh, you yeah. did, you did. Okay, cool. I was, I was like, I was like, hold on, I don't remember doing that. Yeah. All right. Uh, we should have enough atmosphere in here to grow now. 40 kilopascals. We got five moles of CO2. It's not much, but it's a start. Uh, we can just wham open this waste canister in here. That'll add a little bit. Uh, seven moles. It, it's enough to get potatoes going. Let's put some potatoes down. I'll do the standard. I'll plant two and save one, yeah? Sure. Okay, and let's put down some tomatoes uh, then as well. Plant two, save one. Pumpkin. Uh, I guess I'll just grow one of everything while we're building up a seed base. Yeah. I uh, don't need mushrooms though. Wheat. Wheat's not useful for much, early, but good to make oxygen, I guess. Uh, ferns. Uh, don't need mushroom. Rice. And corn. Alright, perfect. We had the exact right number of uh, 
Planters. Love that. Steel sheet. You haven't made any steel sheets, have you? Uh, no, no, not, 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 not one. Not yet. Ooh. Ah, whoops. We had not pumped the uh, water out of the machine. It was <laughs> very oh, right. It was very high pressure in there. <laughs> whoops. It was like, that was about to go down. <laughs> whoops. Uh, okay, well, the water bottle fillers are not working if you want to come get a drink. Just FYI, Earth Atmosphere has around 0.1 MPA. Yeah, yeah. It's actually, it's really, like, in stationary's terms, it's not that much um, pressure. But, I mean, at the scale of this planet, it's a lot, right? Like, we are going to have to make a lot of freaking gas. Uh, yeah. And I, I think it's going to be impossible to do that with mining. Like, we could do it. It would just take you most of your adult life. So, instead, we're going to, uh, we're going to be using the, the spaceships. And once Elmo's got the advanced furnace running, we'll be able to start making those spaceships. It's really not that complicated um, once you've got them going. So the the scale on the terraforming mode is basically that starter base you have we have now, right? Yeah. Multiplied by a million. million. Yeah. Literally one yeah. million. Yeah, we're going to have to go enormous. I mean, this is... like, Do you mean like the volume of the starter base or the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So you... you Take the gas you need to pressurize that stuff. And then press, add, and add it... six zeros, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at that, actually. Let's do some quick back of the back of the napkin here. Uh, we're looking at, if we've got 41 kilopascals, we'll need to triple this. Um, so we're going to need about 21 million moles of CO2, if it was just CO2. It gives us an idea of the the scale. That's going to be a lot. But like I said, with the with the automated ships, you can... You can and pull down a surprising amount of resources very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, soybean is growing well. Fern is growing well. Everybody's growing well. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the way the nutrition rebalance mod works, guys, it's um, every... I think you have to drink water every 2.3 days, eat food every 8 days to get your bar full... Uh, or you just straight up die. Um, so, yeah, that's not great. And plants take a very long time to grow. What? Why don't grow mushroom? They don't take up mushroom? Okay, listen, Jeremy. <laughs> Alright, I support your right to free speech. I'd prefer if you did it elsewhere. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, you know, although growing mushroom might, might not actually be a horrible idea. Because it produces nitrogen, right? Pre it produces CO2 for the other plants. Oh, you don't say. Well, I might just go make some. Doesn't it? Aren't you supposed to not put them in light or something? Or is that they don't care? Well, they, yeah, no, they, they grow only at in darkness. But okay. as long as as long as long you're relying on the sun anyways, then. But th is that going to work with the new stress system? I don't know how much of the new uh, uh, farming update you've yeah, played. Yeah, I, th I, th I, I think it's fine, yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll put down two more planters. Let's, let's try it. Does it doesn't hurt. Sorry for leaving. Uh, no, 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 no. I was, I was about to say sorry for playing <laughs> soccer with them. That's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of farting cows. Yeah. Well, I mean, have you seen which uh, channel inspired this? <laughs> and it's going off. Uh, we could try and put this in the shade. No, nah, I don't think it's worth it. Just stick it over here. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth the effort. No, that's, that's real min maxing. Uh, mushroom seeds. One, two shrooms. Okay, lovely. Uh, Elmo, I've left you two cans of food, uh, but that is the last right. of our food, but that's yours. I've still got 76%. And please remember to dump your waste in there. Your waste tanks. Yeah. All right, uh, what do we need? Uh, we're gonna want us, the first thing we're gonna want is a pair of mining glasses, which is Inconel. That's steel, nickel, gold. I'm gonna go get steel, nickel, gold. Have you played much multiplayer station years before? Me? Um, yeah. A little bit. I mean, I started, when I when I started playing Stationaries, I played only multiplayer with a, a friend of mine. Okay, but, okay. Um, this is the first time re I've ever played multiplayer Station, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it shows, yeah. But yeah, I did, I did a little bit with... Um, so there's this New Zealand streamer called... Um, sorry, what's his name? 
I need to figure it out now. Uh, Ekim. Okay. Uh, he had a public server up for a, a while back that I hopped on. That's cool. I would be a bit scared to do a public server because I feel like one dude with a crowbar <laughs> would just ruin yeah. your whole thing, well, right? I think he started it because it, it was right after the, the the game had a big change, so a big refactor. So, mm. um, so he started just a server, just you know, and made it public just to see how how's this gonna go. Yeah. And um, how long was that running? It, yeah, it didn't actually ended up being quite fun. Um, it lasted for a while, like a few weeks, and uh, I think they did multiple multiple like. Uh, seasons of it, yeah. Uh, but I, I was only uh, with them for. That's a really nice idea. So I, I mean, look, I don't know how much you know about South Africa's current situation. We have something called load shedding. They uh, scheduled blackouts because our power uh -huh. infrastructure is uh, has been sabotaged by. Uh, it's just there's a whole like a criminal element, and there's a bunch of corruption, and it's like, oh my god, man, it's a nightmare situation. But the uh, so we have like scheduled blackouts every day. So I was I was planning on running a dedicated Minecraft server for my community, but I just I it would be down like eight hours a day, you know. Yeah. Like, it's just not okay, feasible, yeah. really. I'd have to rent one, and they, they can get expensive. Uh, oh yes, uh, Aisha. Yes, I would like some water, please. Thank you. I do require water. Sorry, my girlfriend's in chat. Uh, Moon maps is great for making large bases. I agree. I agree, Clown of War. I think it's a lovely one. It's nice and flat, right? And we're going for a crater base, even though that hasn't happened yet. We're still working on like the the foundations. You know, we're getting all the the tools we need to expand here. I had a giant tunnel system base, mostly underground, with some grow domes. That was such a fun project. That's a really cool idea. Huh? Huh? You're gonna, you're gonna hide in the corner. You don't wanna come on camera? Okay. You're making goblin noises. I'm gonna tell them. Tell them exactly what you're doing right now. <laughs> She's hissing and pretending to shy away from a, a light. Like a vampire. <laughs> SA is a third world country when it comes to power, and also like every single other aspect of life, man. We're just a third world country. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we have a few things going for us. Our legal system, incredible. It functions, it's uh, it's reliable, it's equal, it's equitable. Um, it's, uh, it's been fairly incorruptible up until very recently, which it's now beginning to slip a bit, which is a bit sad to see. But yeah, we got like first world, uh, first world legal infrastructure. Uh, the policing, eh, it's okay. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Um, it's, it's more when it comes to like infrastructure. That's when we really fall off. Like there's no, there's no stewardship. There's no maintenance of uh, stuff that's been constructed and things that are then constructed. Like budgets will be drawn up for constructions and we build a lot of new things. But there's not really a, a plan in place for maintaining. Like, we just built a new, like, 12-lane highway because, for some reason, we decided that a car-centric way of living is, like, nice, which is very much not. And, uh, the, and, uh, but the, the, the money is not there to maintain the damn thing. It's a bit moot. I heard your virology institutes are top-notch. Yes, they are. We have some of the best virology institutes on Earth. That is why South Africa keeps finding new COVID strains before everybody else. Um, and it's because of all... We've been fighting HIV here for, like, 50 years. And so they are some of the best labs on Earth are here in South Africa for sequencing virus genomes. Uh, that's how we kept finding new COVID variants every, like, two days. Uh, okay, Elmo. I have yeah. 100 gold. This will get us... One half of our Inconel. Um, we then... Oh my god, we have like 400 gold. <laughs> I didn't check before <laughs> I left. God damn it. Alright, then I need to go find some some nickel. And we need to make more steel. Which you have done, I see. Alright, then I just need one... Have you got nickel? Uh, no. Okay, then I just need one... And there's one... not tons of steel. Okay, there's, yeah, there's a stack of 50. Which, if I get a 50 stack of nickel, that will give us the Inconel. But then, it, well, then we'll need more steel anyway, so I might as well get that stuff. Uh, Elmo, could you, while you're there, man, could you please print up the tool, uh, the tool printer mod? We don't have that yet, and we'll need it uh, for better sure. drills. Tool printer mod. Yeah. On it. Okay, cool. And that steals a bit of the steel. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get. Some, I'm, I'm getting some iron right now. Every country is a third world country. 
Uh, well, not necessarily. So, like, do you know where, Jelma, do you actually know what the origin of that first world, third world thing? It's an international law, uh, leftover. No. So it's from the Cold War, um, okay. and it was countries that were aligned with the US and their allies. That's the first world. Countries that are aligned okay. with the Soviet Union, that's the second. And then third world countries oh, okay. was independent states. Um, and, uh, the, when the Soviet Union fell, obviously the second world country definition doesn't mean much anymore. So everyone either becomes first or third. So either you're aligned with the US or you're not. And that's how, that's, right. that's where first and third came. And then over time, it came to also mean developed slash developing. Right. That's why, right. that's why people started using the alternative, uh, those, those adjectives instead of first or third, because it, that was like an old political thing. Um. Earth is the third world? Hey! So true, so true. That's on fire tonight with the puns, man. <laughs> Chat, tell me your worst dad joke. Straight up, give me the worst dad joke you've ever heard. I want to. I want something that's gonna make. It's gonna. It's gonna hit me with that. Uh, that oof. You know that that cringe. Put that straight into my veins. Fun fact about the mycelia of some mushrooms, it actually contains something, don't quote me, but it contains something that can be used to repair a damaged visual nerve in rats. That's cool. Now, I saw that they uh, they recently, and by they I mean sort of uh, some scientists whose names I don't remember, um, have successfully used mushroom root networks, mycelium, to uh, wire together a computer and perform calculations, um, which is insanely cool. Uh, so like they, they got like a, a, an existing motherboard and they, they grew the mycelium through channels into the various different nodes and it was able to, like they replaced the CPU and the south and north bridge on a motherboard with it and it was able to actually compute, which is like insane. I'm not, I, I don't ask me how they, they, they pass that information, I don't know, but uh, this is this is the allegation that the pop science website on Instagram Reels <laughs> claimed had happened. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna come back with like 200 nickel, man, just so we've got a, a backlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always a pain to find this stuff. Uh, do uh, we need coal? We're gonna need. We need copper. We, need uh, copper. we do probably need coal uh, as well. Yeah, I'll uh, get a stack while I'm here. See, Mycelia yeah, is the future? Stack. Yeah, probably. 12. 12 copper. Uh, gold, sorry. Wait, say say That's one more. What time. we have? What well, we have 12 gold. Uh, 12 coal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm digging. Ironically enough, this would be much easier if we had the glasses. But uh, here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> digging through the mud like a bunch of worms. <laughs> uh, everything becomes so much easier once you have like a heavy drill. Oh, dude, the lens. heavy drill, it's... I dream of it. I, I, yeah, go, I go to bed at night and it, it whispers <laughs> sweet nothings into my ear. Tells me I'm a handsome boy. It's all I need, man. I just... I, I'm so ready to not... Be looking at this stupid little mine <laughs> starter mine ever again. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've been uh, over the last like week. I've been playing some Venus. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. I'm maybe I'm thinking of doing like a video on it, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. But anyway, uh, I don't know if you watched others play Venus, but the usual thing everyone goes for like they have full panic on because on water and plants and everything, yeah, right? Yeah. Because you don't have ISIS, you don't have oxygen supply, you don't have water supply, you have nothing. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I was like, nope, I'm going to have a heavy drill and a sensor lenses before I even do anything else. Yeah, <laughs> because otherwise it's just painful. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, uphill battle for sure. Okay, we have the ingredients we need for the ink canal to make the glasses. So uh, you let me know when you're ready and we can run this ship. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, found some copper. Uh, we need. I need a two ace, uh, two ices. So this setup I'm setting up here is with two ices. Okay. Oh yeah, you you making copper? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Right there. Oh, I just dropped it behind you. Behind you. Oh. And since I'm here, um, I might as well run some more. Yeah. And then what do you do with them? Yeah. Uh, Two ICs that controls the whole thing, basically. That's amazing. 
and we need probably a screen and a dial, but yeah. Did you learn MIPS as part of your course? Or was that just, did you learn that no. for the station years? Well, not really, uh, but we do learn like all kind of stupid as programming languages. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I did Java in, in high school, but that's that's sort of yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 nothing, nothing like that. So yeah, if if you talk to like uh, co computer science majors, like programmers, programmers, uh, they will say that like JavaScript and Python and C sharp and stuff are all different languages. But to yeah, me, they're that's all, they're the all one... identical. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. so similar. Because I started playing because... around with Arduinos and uh, I learned C yeah, for yeah. it, and that was like just learning Java again. It was so similar. It was, uh... So um, the real difference is uh, we we program a lot in like um, uh, function block programming. So mm -hmm. uh, probably doesn't make any sense to you, but um, uh, so Siemens and National Instruments have this function block programming that is completely different. Uh, it's like you know visual blocks yes. you you drag in and then you know kind of connect lines between them like almost like it's a circuit board oh interesting okay yeah and uh, so yeah that's very different oh hold on elmo i've got the i've got the dad joke for you ready for this <clears throat> yeah what genre are national anthems country <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. I hate it. <laughs> I, hate it. <laughs> I hate that I liked it. That's it. That's it's the shame that cuts so deep. <laughs> um, have we got our tool mod ready? Yeah, it's on the tool printer. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, we haven't got power. <laughs> okay, step two. <laughs> let's go. Um, run this over here. Let's put this there. Okay, cool. Let me power this bad boy. Actually, I don't want to. I want. I kind of want this to go backwards. Otherwise, it's going to interrupt the import. I got this. Uh, the stacking idea from from, from Mick from Cows. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's really clever. It just lets you cram them into, like you don't have to like constantly run back and forth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A nice little, nice little hack. Uh, I hope I didn't interrupt your build there. No, it's fine. No, I didn't. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, your IC circuit is ready, sir. Um, let's have a look here at our... Oh, well, oh, oh, oh. why is it printing advanced A-locks? I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay, when you're done with uh, that stack, can you? we can make our advanced drills. We have everything. Steel, Electrum, Invar, Solder. Our heavy drills. Can you, can you make a laptop on this? Uh, you make it, yes. You want to make it? No, yeah, yeah, I want you to make it because I tried to make a laptop and I printed out advanced ALOX. Okay, it's currently so. printing LAN uh, laptop. Let's see what it does. Yep, there we go. There's one right, for you. So. Uh, we only need one. You you keep it. Okay, I'm going to grab oh, yeah. the, the stuff just so we can quickly make the... Uh, get us both drills and then we'll put it back in there. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, there's a stack of solder. Stack of invar. That's all solder. Constantin, come on, hurry up. There we go, Invar. Then what else do we need? Uh, Electrum and steel. <laughs> Look at this nice little row. <laughs> 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 it actually looks really nice. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and there's the steel. Oh my god, I can't. There we go. I keep picking up the ones that are falling. Uh, oh, you won't. Elmo, we need like two more grams of steel. Oh, to get we the have two more drill. grams of steel, but... Do we have two more grams of steel? Yeah. Right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'll make us both drills. That is for you, sir. And then let's get this one's battery out. You. I uh, probably should put a battery charger out here, huh? Yeah, probably a good idea. Uh, although, you can use the APC one. Yeah, yeah, but it, it only really works for like one person at a time. 
Um, so does this say I see motherboard now? This I'm says just... that says I see edited motherboard. Yeah. 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 Okay, the old drill can get put over there until we recycle it. All right, I'm gonna go get us some more stuff. So what do we need? Steel, right? That's what we're shy on. Steel. Steel, steel, yeah. steel. Okay. Iron. Yeah, and ironically enough, we can only make the damn glasses once we've got the steel <laughs> that I need. <laughs> that I need the glasses for <laughs> to go make it. <laughs> Stop throwing your trash on the floor, Miles. An hour on the moon and already littering. I'll have you know it's been two and a half hours, and the moon madness is beginning to set in. It's like uh, 33 degrees Celsius in this room. It's summer in Africa. Okay, your boy is getting heat stroke coming on. Uh, how are you faring over there, Elmer? What's the what's the temperature like? Oh, uh, well, over here is freezing. Oh, can we swap? I miss the snow. <laughs> yeah, I would gladly swap, man. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, I'll, I'll take you. On. <laughs> we'll do an exchange program. You can come stream from my setup, and I'll go yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. finish your master's paper. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not laughs> my um my yeah like so like the first time in my life i'd ever seen snow was in uh 2019 right um when i went to south korea i did i did a couple years doing the english teaching gig there and uh we landed and the next day was my birthday and it snowed and it was the coolest like i just i'd never touched it before like i'd seen like refrozen <laughs> snow in like the high mountains here Right. Um, yeah. But like, it's never, it doesn't really snow so much as like, the, it like hails and then that melts and then freezes, you know? Like you don't get right, like right, that right. soft, soft snow. And uh, Aisha yeah. and I, we just, that's my girlfriend, we just had like the most, it was, it was like, it was like a fairy tale moment. It was so cool. <laughs> just uh, after so many years of seeing it on TV, uh, to like actually like interact with it was pretty life affirming. The, the one thing that no one prepared me for, though, is the fact that, uh, and I mean, this is kind of like a, yeah, duh, but uh, snow is just kind of frozen rain. And so, like, you're standing out there, and you're like, oh, it's just so cool, I'm covered in snow. And then you go inside, and now you're just wet. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, I, I didn't, I don't know why, I never really, like, thought about it until it was too late. <laughs> so there's me sitting in my first day of teaching. Uh, try to like get to know these kids and I'm just freezing my ass off because my clothes are soaked. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Hello hungry, I'm dad. Okay. Okay, <laughs> chat. Okay. Listen, I made I regret the, the dad jokes. Oh, it's been going on for a while. Hi dad, I'm hungry. Hi dad, hungry, I'm dad. Hi hungry, I'm food. Hi food, I'm dad. Okay. I see there's a there's a bit of a uh, Ouroboros <laughs> snake eating its own tail thing going on here. All right, very nice. Um, should I do the steel in the standard furnace? I'm guessing the advanced one's not ready yet. Uh, yeah, no, it's not ready yet. Okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll uh, do it the old-fashioned way. Could be uh, ready quite quick, but... Then I, I don't actually have any oxide, so I'll just do this with NOS. Just uh, please don't explode. I asked you nicely. Please stop going up, Mr. Needle. <laughs> please, God. I, oh, fuck. <laughs> I, uh... I'd have made yeah, a mistake here. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, no, it's it's climbing. <laughs> oh, it's climbing very fast. Hold on. Hold on. We have to vent. Whoop. Whoop. Yep, 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 there have been uh, a lot of near misses today for people with uh, yeah. a lot of combined experience <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Maybe that's why, because you feel a bit more confident messing around. <laughs> Did you already put a shiny flag on the moon, or does that come later? I think we start with some flags, don't we? Okay, let me make this steel. I'm getting distracted already. We make this steel, and then, uh, then we'll talk. I'm making a double batch. We'll have 400. You know you love it. <laughs> it's so true. I do. I do. You know me, chat. I'm a sucker for punishment. Okay. Nice. Done. Is our steel, sir? All right. And now we want to look at the lenses. For those, we're going to need steel and inconel. 
Uh, let me actually... I'm actually going to make another stacker. Uh, just to use for splitting ingots. Yeah. And this one is going to need copper. Do we have copper? Are we always out of copper? Where's it all going? We're always out of everything, man. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's true. Soon. Soon we will have rockets, chat. But then you'll all be laughing. Okay. Stacker. Nice. And I will stick this over here. Do you have any cable? Uh, yes, I got an extra 15 here and another 50 stack if you need it. Uh, and there's also extra there, so. You need more? No, no, no. Plenty. I have yeah, plenty. Cool. Chat, what time is it where you are, by the way? For those of you watching from uh, from overseas. Because both, uh, both Elmo and I are on the same time zone. Um, and very different parts of the world, but the same time zone. What time is it where everybody is? <laughs> Uh, I like to get an idea of my... Because I know in the US, it's like... It's fairly... It's probably about midday by now, I think. Because um, I normally start streaming at 4 p.m. our time. And that's about 8 a.m. East Coast. Okay. This is functional. Uh, have you got the labeler? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to borrow that to make my snacks. I just don't want to overstore stuff in this tool printer. So we need uh, five steel. So that's ten, ten steel each. Okay, this one can live in there. What else do we need? And copper. We're out of copper. Yeah. We need silicon and we need a little bit of ink canal. Okay. Well, I think there's some copper in. Oh. Yeah, there isn't. Yeah. I fucked up. Oopsie! <laughs> ah, we'll centrifuge it. It's fine. Don't, don't stress. A little it's surprise for later. A little treat for yeah. later. Yeah. I'm going to. Um... Yeah, we probably shouldn't put this stacker right next to the furnace input, actually. Uh, big brain move that one. Move this back a bit. That one's on me. Put that there. It's 2.31 p.m. for Lunar Shots, so that would put you seven hours behind? Interesting. Where are you, Luna? Uh, and who else we got here? 8.30 for Stefan, so you're, you're pretty much in your, your Europe, clearly. Uh, 12.30 in Arizona. Yes, yeah, so it is midday. Okay, in Texas, in Texas. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's, that's continental United States. Interesting. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It's just it's nice to get that uh, that information. Because uh, I think the ideal stream start time for me is around um, around four, and then sort of go like four till eight, probably the best. And by the way, chat, you'll be happy to know, uh, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna have to start cutting down on the YouTube uh, series creation too much because the editing is just taking up too much time. Probably start streaming more. And uh, I'll be handing off the stuff to edit to, to Magic, who is our part-time editor on the channel. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. does great work. If you would like to see some of his content, go check out my Kerbal Space Program 2 videos. They are hilarious, dude. Uh, the launch day stream was a chaotic nightmare, and Magic edited it into the most... It's, pro like, it's some of the best KSP content I've seen. Um, it's, like, it's like I'm not even watching myself, because that's normally terrible. It's just genuinely really funny. Uh, and it's all from his edits. Like, and the gameplay. Um, definitely worth checking out. Yeah, you want that, Lunar? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been getting, uh, like, the videos do fine. Like, the Station News episode's pushing up to 3,000 views in the first month, which, for a tiny channel, is not bad. But the, um, the streams are just a lot more fun, a lot more engaging. Like, they don't do the same numbers, but that's fine. 
He's doing a great job. Yes, he is, Tater. I couldn't agree more. And the streams will allow me to start working on the largely legal channel. By the way, guys, if you are interested in watching me with my humorous style and my banter and whatnot talk about uh, pressing humanitarian IHL issues, trying to make it a bit more lighthearted, trying to simplify it a little bit, go check out my main page of my channel. On Largely Unemployed, you'll find Largely Legal. Uh, that's where... Um, that's where all that's going to go. And also, I'm going to start uploading to Largely Live more often. I'll be streaming on this channel and uploading to Largely Live. That's the VOD channel. All set up. Your station, your tutorial had me laughing almost immediately last night. Hot like your mom. That was you editing? That was me editing. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> that wasn't Magic. <laughs> magic only does the live streams. He doesn't do the, he doesn't do the, the standalone playthroughs. That's all me. So I, actually, um, Elmer, we were talking about this a bit earlier, but there's a lot of new people here. Uh, I uh, want to ask you this again. Your um, your first video, you told me what you made, but you never told me why you decided to make the video. Because like a lot of people will, you know, explore new ideas and games, but they don't necessarily share it or like decide to put it together in a package that other people can can look at and criticize. What 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 made you take the leap into the actual creation part of it? Uh, well, it's, I don't know, I was just into the stationaries community and I didn't see a really anyone um, using like a PID controller for anything. And you thought like that it, it would, it would just... be like a good good thing well, to have in there, to have for the community. So so the first video I made was for like how, like a tutorial on how to set up a PID controller in stationaries, right? Yeah. And I had the thought that, you know, a PID controller is... Um, Someone in chat said that, you know, it's the bane of their existence, but yes, the PLD yes. controller can be used for so much, so much stuff, right? So, so much automation. Yes. So I, I was just, you know, I, I wanted to share that. Uh, but the way I shared it in the tutorial video was to automate a gas fuel generator. And most of the feedback I got on the video was, whoa, I never seen a gas fuel generator running before. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. So I was like, okay. Yeah, and then now this is, I'm <laughs> going to make that. that. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool. So you, like, you sort of identified the niche, moved into yeah. the market to put it in, like, terrible terms. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's basically what happened. That's awesome, dude. I just, I'm always interested, because whenever I collab with a new creator, I like to find out why they started making videos. Because for a lot of people, it's the same story. It's something similar to that. It's like... Um, I liked this game, I liked this idea, I didn't see anything about it, and I thought I could say something about it, and I just did. You know, no one, no one's yeah. going into it like, oh, I'm going to be the next Markiplier, you know, like, that's that's not yeah. really what anyone's thinking about, which is, uh, it's really nice. Um, also, yes, chat, the editor is paid, thank you very much, okay, you can put the pitchforks down. He gets 50% of all ad revenue from the channel, it's an equal split, along with, uh, uh, I, I won't give the exact number because that's that's up to him. That's uh, an agreement we came to. But uh, as well as a sizable portion of the membership, donations aren't shared because those, for tax purposes, it's way too complicated. Um, there's the copper. But yeah, all all ad revenue. So if you want to support Magic and you want to support the channel, click on some damn ads, okay? So you're getting the 15th Uber ad for the day. You click on it anyway. All right, you're getting the 73rd car insurance advert. You click that thing twice. Every time you click on an ad, we get paid. If you just watch it, we get nothing. Okay, YouTube laughs at us while we give them free revenue. <laughs> you just sharpened your pitchfork? Well, listen, okay, that's it's, it's good to know that tool maintenance is in high priority for you, but like, <laughs> I need you, to <laughs> need you to just lay it down now, son. Okay. I need you to take a step back. Elmo, I think uh, I think a good goal to try and wrap up today will be to get these. Uh, let's get our advanced alloys, and then we can. Because uh, then from there, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a real snowball. You can get the rocket build. With the rocket build, you get all the other stuff. And then you have like infinite resources and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So what? Okay, can you run? Uh, oh, let, I'll let you finish it, and then you can run us through your system. Because I'm interested to see how you uh, set this one up. Well, um. It's not pretty. No, but it's functional. It's well, not. Well, it's on. Yet, it's on the road so, to so... functionality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I've got everything we need. 
we have a million copper now, and a, like we have just a disgusting amount of gold. Like it's just kind of stupid how much gold we have. And we have, I think we have close to a thousand gold, Elba. Yeah, yeah. We gold might is have, fine. We might have too much gold. In fact, <laughs> I didn't think it was ever going to be a problem. Uh, I guess we can print out the hydraulic pipe render mod. We don't have that one yet. There is some useful stuff in there. Steel, electrum, constant, and solder. Electrum, constant, and solder. And where's that big stack of steel? Uh, in uh, the pipe render. In the pipe render. I see it. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's make the pipe bender mod. I think that's a good idea. Useful. Uh, next up on the tool manufactory, anything we really want here, we don't have yet. I mean, it would be nice to have a hard mining backpack, because uh, you can store so much in it. Sure, you sold me. Do you ever use these? What? Do you ever use the, the mining backpacks? No. I recently discovered them. It's like basically infinite ore storage. Crazy. Let me show you this thing. You just stick it in your backpack, like you like you have an extra belt kind of thing. Uh, and it give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow this pipe up. I think. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> I'm back in. I'll grab the laptop. Hold on. Save the laptop. <laughs> oh shit! I, I think we're good. What was the What was about to go? Uh, I'm just combusting some fuel to get that chain reaction running. Mm. Preferably controllable chain reaction, but we'll see. The thing about chains, though, <laughs> is that they, <laughs> they, they tend to run away with you. Um, okay. It's going to be the mod printer. Uh, but here, here is your gift, sir. Check this thing out. You don't have to wear it. Right. Just, just put it in your put it in your pocket. And then when you go mining, uh -huh. you just drag ores up into it. It's gigantic. <laughs> it's six iron. That's all it costs. Uh, well, this one in particular adds you six iron and one invar, but the basic one has one less line, and it's just, it's literally just six iron. Right. So much storage space. Uh huh. Okay, we have a level two pipe bender. I I think you're right. I think we won't bother with the temperature high. Oh shit. I think we won't bother with the, um, what you call it, the you Mark the team. labor? Yeah. Do I have the labor? I do have the labor. Uh, I'm going to make us welders as well, so we don't have to work with the bombs where? anymore. Where, where the Where'd it go? laptop? Oh, I've got it here, because uh, I was worried about okay. it getting blown up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Elmo, I'm making you an arc welder. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, do you know what we need to do before we finish today, actually, is set up a cryo or sleeper, right? So that you can... Sleep, sleeper, yeah. Yeah, so we can log off without dying. Although it shouldn't be a problem because, I mean, I'm hosting this in the moment. But you never know. I'd, I'd like to point out the atmosphere around me is currently 500C. Um... I don't know what that's about. Hmm. Just right over here. It's like there's a fire running. Really weird. Oh, there, there's the furnace. Oh yeah, it is that. Okay, I, I forget that we have like pressure now. <laughs> uh, but there's your there's your arc welder, sir. And I'm going to make us some batteries for it as well. All right, actually, let's start with a charger. We do need a battery charger out here. Uh, iron, copper. Well, got some of that. So I think we're out of iron. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean there is probably a bunch in the machines, but yeah. Yeah, I know. I think it's even that's done. I've got. I'll go get us a stack. Uh, let's. Just remember, I have a South African machete. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> hey, but, oh, but you don't have it though. So it's Schrodinger's machete. You both have it. Do not have your uh, South African machete. Also, what is a South African machete? Because uh, we just call those a machete. Here, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like, when you go to Paris, you're not going to eat French food, man. It's just food. You know, like, you're going to have to give me some more details. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, 
You don't have it with you, but you own it. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, we wouldn't have known either way. I'll be. I'll level with you. Could have. It could have been our little secret, but you had to go and tell the truth, huh? Ridiculous. Um, Elmo, I'm. I think I'm addicted to not mining iron because I've got a hundred lead on me for some reason. Huh? <laughs> uh, I, need, I, I, need to, I need to get a handle now on this, 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 this. I think I'm getting tired, man. I need to get a handle on this distraction. Um, there's coal. We don't need that right now. Iron, iron, iron. Check this out, chat. So now I've got the hard mining backpack. Just drag everything up in there. We have like infinite storage. How much space there is in that thing? Six iron, dude. Always worth it. And the best part of them is if you if you like fill the entire backpack with let's say you like your steel mix so three iron one coal back to back you just throw the whole backpack in and it'll process the entire batch in one go which is really f it destroys the backpack but you know it does it does save you a lot of uh dropping of ores it does not add the backpacks uh ingredients to the mixture just just it just destroys it Dude, I'm doing it again. I'm mining gold. Like, what is wrong with me? Just, <laughs> just go find some iron. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. You have a bearded handle instead of a leather one. Ooh. By the way, chat, can you uh, can you hear the music? It's currently playing soft classical jazz, but I'm worried it's too soft. Uh, if you didn't even know there was music playing, let me know too, because that means it's way too soft. I found some cobalt. Fantastic. There we go. Gonna need it soon. We have to make stellite. Ugh, stellite. Then there's. Uh, let's see. Okay. So Elmo, I know you can't commit to uh, like a different definite time the next few months but would you like to be part of the next stream if we could make it work with our schedules It'd be great to have you yeah. on yeah yeah you having fun yeah sure okay cool <laughs> look I, I won't i won't hold you to it man like masters comes first obviously okay. but uh we'll we'll, we'll we'll keep in touch and we can uh we can make sure that i think i think the audience is enjoying it too we've, we've maintained a consistent 26 viewers <laughs> it hasn't gone below yeah. that we peaked at i think it was 48 yeah we peaked at 48 which is the most I've ever had at one time on a stream, I think. The best the best before that was 32. Uh, yeah. Collabs are always really good for everybody. And guys, by the way, from my channel, please, please, in the description, you head over to Elmo's channel right now, and you click that subscribe button. He makes fantastic Station News content. Uh, even if you don't play the game, it's free, and it supports other creators like me. So please, 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 uh, spend, your, spend your clicks wisely. Okay? <laughs> Nice. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, how humble he is. Then, you didn't even, you didn't even no, acknowledge it. <laughs> see, that's, nah. that's, he's just lost I was going to say it's a waste of time, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you lost in the source on that design, I can tell. <laughs> that's usually why I do these games on uh, recording rather than uh, a stream. Just because like, I'll just like go quiet and just work and then yeah, like yeah. 15 minutes later i'm like oh shit right i should probably oh yeah so by the way this is uh that's why there's so many jump cuts in my videos because i just stopped talking <laughs> all right i'm coming back fully laden with uh, many ores uh is there anything in particular you need me to get on the way back do we need silver gold anything like that we definitely don't need uh, gold only iron currently only iron. okay i have uh, about 600 be a nice change do these backpacks it make you can carry so much in one trip and with the heavy drill it just it goes so fast definitely uh, worth it yeah yeah 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> um, and uh, they right are also doing... they, they are also thermally Sorry. they also like thermally isolated like the belts are, so you can put ices in them, but melt. It's right. Really yeah. Handy. Yeah. Right now I'm doing the IC code, so I'm like, uh, you know, going through the, the screws on the IC housing, uh, totally distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the my miner is quite loud. Let's uh, we can turn that down. Yeah. He's a dwarf digging a hole, diggy diggy hole. I am indeed. Your friend's parents got it for me for getting their mail. You don't know, they got you a machete for retrieving their mail. Texas is just built different, huh? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> well, son, I'm real proud of you. You gone down and fetched the mail. Here's a here's a lethal weapon. <laughs> Please enjoy. <laughs> oh, there we go. We are at temperature. I'm I'm going to just run a ton of iron here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so distracted. Man. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, it's completely fine. <laughs> oh, uh, this thing's gonna start completely. And it's been it's been three hours of you know I'll, keeping I'll just up with focus. you. And... I know. I know. I know. Temperature critical. No, 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 no worries at all, man. <laughs> we like to banter around here. I love that whenever the channel's journey goes, Miles' first community goal was a waxing stream. That's true. That is true. That is unfortunately true. I don't know if you know that, Elmo. So no. my, um, as a joke, right, I did a collaboration uh -huh. with another with another YouTuber called Bite Marks, um, and we joked on the stream that if I... Oh no, someone in my community was like, if you get to 10 channel members in this month, will you do a waxing stream? It was something like right. that. And I was like, sure, whatever. Because I'd like just unlocked memberships. I'm like, ah, oh, two people signed up. It's not going to happen. Within nine <laughs> minutes, I had the 10 members. And so, <laughs> and so I had to... And then, and then it evolved to... I then did a collaboration with this other YouTuber, Bite Marks, And he was like, um, do you have any channel goals? And I was like, well, there's this there's this waxing thing. And it turns out that he'd, he'd actually lived fairly close to me. And so, the first time I ever met this man was when he came to my house and waxed my feet <laughs> on stream. <laughs> it was the most <laughs> insane way to meet somebody. Uh, and they've, they've never let me forget it, either. Oh, I am out of oxygen by the look of it. No, why is oxygen low? Out of filters? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, minus, minus uh, or out of oxygen as well. I think it was the, the furnace getting hot there. I think it just spiked the... Oh, fuck me! I... Elmo. I put my waste tank in the oxygen supply. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I misclicked. It's not a problem. I misclicked. Not a uh, problem. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry about that, boys. Uh, let's see what the damage is. I think there's just a bit of CO2 in there. It shouldn't be enough to be yeah, lethal. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Ah, uh, 2%. It's fine. And the potatoes are growing. I don't know if we're gonna... I'm gonna have to really scale this up. I think I'm gonna have to print some more... Hydroponics base. Okay, so in theory... I'm done. Okay. Let's have a look. Does it turn on? Man, we have really made a mess of this place. Look at this. Uh, hold on. Um... One more. Let's see... Dial. There you go. Okay, what are we looking at here? So walk us through it. We've got two ICs. Um, what are they controlling? So the furnace controller is the one doing everything, basically. Okay. Uh, the other one is the library. The library just keeps track of what you have selected. Okay. And um, Like a hash chip. Yeah, right. kind of. Uh, but it also tells... So um, if you look at the furnace controller, it has a state on it. Yes, I see that. That's eleven hundred point oh seven. Yeah. So that's the that's the target for the furnace, uh, and the library tells the furnace controller where to go, basically. Okay, I see. Eleven hundred being the temperature so, or the pressure. Um, that's probably the pressure, and seven hundred degrees is 
the temperature. Temperature. Okay, cool. Where do you set so those values? Like, uh, that those are in the code in the library code. Ah, okay, you don't okay. set you don't set the values. Okay. Uh, it's all. So you have this dial here, right? Mm -hmm. So you can flip through the dial to select what kind of. And then it pulls uh, the value, make. and then it will adjust the state on the furnace controller. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So I if see. you go to Invar, you, you'll see. It, it now it's 19,000. It yeah, that's the pressure. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll switch us over to Inconel. Let's make some. Um, Inconel. That's the one. Right. So. Um, you have to turn the furnace on, right? Basically, yeah. And there we we'll go. See it's how that goes. Picking up. Okay. I should. I. I'll put in the ingredients so long. So we'll need. Uh, but we don't have tons of gases back here, so hopefully it'll work out. But okay. Let's do a double stack then to be sure. So if it works, it works once. We don't have to do it again. So we'll well, uh, if it works, it will work all the time. Is so the the only problem here is that the we don't really have that much storage in terms of gases in the back here. So. Oh, we might not have enough to. Um... To actually right. do it. I see what you're saying. All right. Well, we can. I can. We can just go get some more ice. I mean, I've got some. I've got some volatiles yeah, here. Yeah. Should I crush those quickly? So volatiles. Which one um, of those going in? So it, it goes in the back here. So if you look at this guy. Yeah, yeah. This is really hot, right? This yes. is the hot source of the furnace. Yes. Uh, we just don't want to blow it up. So you mix uh, basically nitrous oxide here and and volatiles. And you can chug that into the the ice crusher. Okay. So sure, sure. can I throw a but stack of, of volatile? So not 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 oxide, yeah. Just just nitrous. Not not maybe not do a stack, but half a stack maybe. I, I tell you what, here you go. Uh, this is this is beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all yours. <laughs> I'm gonna be the I'll nah, be the yeah. I'll be the I'll be the furnace monkey. I'll just uh, I'll I'll just <laughs> hand things in, and then we just need two hundred gold. Which uh, hey, guess what? We have about six hundred gold. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I have. Okay, that should process up all of that. Then we're going to be swimming. At 10k subs, you got to watch your other leg. Oh no, I've only got the one left. See, this is how they get me. They're like, and I'm like, oh, I'll never get to 10,000. Oh shit, uh, Elmo? Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> that just doesn't uh, look fine, I'll be honest. Uh, oh, it's fine. Uh, there was a little fire between the very fine, but... yeah. we'll Take it out on the back. There we go. So what, what, what happened there? Was the atmosphere inside there just too... Too hot? Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay. Um... Well, the, I mean, look, it's still working. The temperature is exactly where we want it. The pressure is climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we are going to hit, we have to get to 23 megapascals and we're at, uh, just about to hit 19. But I'd say we're doing fine. Because once we get in canal, we can make these uh, glasses, the lenses, which are game changers. And then we'll probably call it there. Uh, yeah, but this is, this is a nifty setup, man. It's um it's very similar to Basile's one, just of course without the uh, without the atmosphere control for the actual room, which is definitely yeah necessary. they're all yeah. all all fire setups are kind of the same. Yeah. Are we having a fire again? We are. I wish that we we I want to get a readout to see what's in there that's burning. Are we leaking? Like what are we leaking that's catching fire? Is there is a little bit of volatiles, but it's like in the 0.1 percent range. Yeah, so the fire isn't necessarily that dangerous. No, so it's just, it's just the graphical effect, right? Rather yeah, than yeah. the... Yeah. Was it you who told it's me not... that on my Europa video where I thought yeah, yeah, everything yeah. was on fire? Yeah, yeah, it was just the, yeah. <laughs> it was just the graphical effect. <laughs> now, I, I even watched that back a couple of times because, I, you know, you were you know, so preoccupied in full panic with there being a fire. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I watched back the video a couple of times and watched the temperature read that on your HUD and it said... You know, you were trying to heat up the base, right? Yes. And it was going up by like um, one degrees. I did actually notice that yeah, in editing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, hold on. This, <laughs> this doesn't seem that extreme. Oh, we have lost power. Yeah, uh, Maybe a cable burned Got out? Burnt. No. Yeah. We, we have power. Uh, it, it was gone for a second. It's back. Oh. 
That was strange. Everything turned off. Ah, don't know. I love this pile of gold. As if it's like <laughs> trash. <laughs> just like this is like the wealth of a small nation just, just lying yeah. on the floor. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I mean, that's slowly getting its way up there. We'll just give it some time. Uh, while with that's working, then, I guess, we go and uh, we look at what we need for Stellite. So now, Stellite, I always do manually, just with, like, the gases. Because you have to, it's, like, super high temperature, super low pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this setup here. Oh, yeah, I see we have lost some, lost a cable over here. Oh, yeah, over there. How did it turn itself back on? Uh, ah. Weird. Okay. So I guess we'll just do it... Have it open it back for now. Okay. And we'll just we'll just lose the heat. A little bit. But yeah. it's really not much. We're in vacuum, right? Like, the, the exchange can't be very high. Well, it's actually, not it's, it's not in vacuum, extreme. is it? What'd you say? Sorry? Yeah, no, it's not significant no. temperature loss. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's eight kilopascals of pressure. That's that's not much convection at all. Uh, in fact, it's but, even say convected exactly in a. Are, yeah. Why exactly are we um... catching fire? Well, I I don't know too concerned about the catching fire. Oh, like once again, uh, yeah, like you said, it's uh, it's graphical. I'm more concerned about why it hasn't been spitting out some um, income yet. Oh, out of interest, uh, Elmo, have you unlocked channel memberships yet on your uh, platform? Uh, I don't think so. Because you you should you have to apply for it. Um, because someone in chat okay. asked, but you you get it uh, when you hit a thousand subs. As soon as you can monetize your channel, you can apply for okay. memberships. You put you just yeah. I haven't monetized like a, the channel yet. Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, but there's a there's a I segment read... under earn where you can just it clicks it says memberships. So I'm just responding to chat, and uh, over there you can just say. I would like to enable memberships on my channel, and then it works. That easy. Uh, Why does the battery yeah. charger print so fast? It's like less than a second. We now have two. I guess we'll put one inside. Fast, man. Damn fast. Uh, we need copper. I love the chaos of this base. It's just the <laughs> most random collection of crap. Oh, it's so cool. But I mean, beauty comes later once we have uh, stability. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll make it look good once it's functional. <laughs> what I tell myself every day on my Europa playthroughs: <laughs> it'll look good one day once it's all grown up. Uh huh. All right, well, we now have a battery charger. That's something you care about. Uh, what we don't have is batteries. A large battery cell. You just need somewhere to put the money. <laughs> um, so if, you want to, if you're asking how do you become a channel member, uh, Lunar... Uh, next to my channel name, next to Largely Unemployed, it'll a little button that says join. You just click that, and then it will ask you um, for payment if that's what you want to do. I, I think I'm, I don't think I'm misunderstanding what you're saying. Uh, that was a double negative, sorry. Is that what you're asking? Uh, Elmo, your large battery for oh. your arc welder is charging. Oh. Okay. Uh, what do we do with our bombs? Our, our what? Our bombs. <laughs> These ones over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say keep it away from the fire. For yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't store it over there. I <laughs> uh, don't want to put this inside either, to be honest. I'll just keep it in my pants for now, I guess. Uh, one of the first things I usually do is vacuum out that tank as soon as I get the arc welder. <laughs> I just had it blow up so many times. Uh, will this pull the lever automatically once we're at temperature and pressure? Yeah. Uh, 
because we've just lost all our pressure. All right, I'm doing it on purpose. No, we've lost the vent. It exploded. Both vents exploded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know about that one. Oh, okay. Don't worry about okay, it. okay, it's all under control. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were so close to the... Um, we were so close to the, the goal there. At 14, we're okay. All right, um, well then, I might as well go be productive. Let me go find some more cobalt, because what do we need for stellite for next time? Silver, silicon, cobalt. Okay, let's go get a bunch. Oh, and you know what we needed? You know what we haven't done yet? Put down our flag. This will be the last thing we do today. But yeah, I'll keep that on me. Oh, you're just planning for your channel, Lunar. I see, I see. I see, I see. What kind of content do you want to make, Lunar? Always nice to hear about another content creator. May have turned the drill down too much. You could not not hear it at all. <laughs> Hey, well, I have more gold, uh, <laughs> just in case you run out. <laughs> but uh, I really, I cannot find, I cannot find silver, man, for the life of me. I guess I'll just uh, stack up on ice as well. I think I don't know like I don't have a specific end goal for this other than it would be cool to see how far I can take it um because I mean it is a huge project right like Kaz is doing this as a dedicated playthrough so he's got the time but I mean I'll probably stream this at most once a week uh, for the next few months so like that's gonna it's gonna take a minute to get where we're going but um I think with a bit of uh, you know with the, like maybe when I've got a bit of time offline I'll I'll put down a few frames or something I think there's uh I think there's a way to to make this work a nice goal for me, chat, would be just to kind of... We can just get the pressure up to like around 20 or 30 to the point where I can take my helmet off and not die. Even if the plants can't grow, I'd call that a win. Um, so we don't have to go to full 100 kilopascal, 21 million moles. Maybe we can get away with like 10 million. Yeah? So I have a canal now. Hey! Okay, could you make us some sensor glasses? Sure. A pair each. And then I guess we should make our sleepers, right? Yeah. Sleeping time. In real life and in game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh Yeah. This is this has got nothing to do with the, the series, but I just I was uh, doing some station news recording yesterday. I started the recording at about eight PM, got home from like a family thing, um started recording some station years. And then uh, I, I looked down at the clock and it was 2 a.m. And I was like, oh, okay. So there's the... <laughs> Guess I'm getting two hours sleep tonight. That <laughs> sounds great. <Yeah. laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, it's tough out here. Insomnia hours. You're going to do KSP and Star Sector. Uh, maybe some FPS games? Okay, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, KSP 1 or 2? What's your what's your poison? Because uh, KSP 2, in its current state, is a $50 tech demo that uh, you have the privilege of paying to play. Yeah, I had tried, tried not, KSP 2 for... Not great. Yeah. No. No, no it's, not, it's, not, it's not great. <laughs> have you seen my videos on it, Elmo? Uh, no, I don't think I've catched your videos on them. No. I would uh, I would recommend it to anybody who wants to, wants to have a good chuckle and see how rough the launch day was. Uh, my editor, Magic, like I said, he just did such a good job with it. Definitely, they're not long. It's worth it. It's a good fun. Lots of memes. Lots of memes woven in. <laughs> that man, he's like, he's never edited before, right? And he's just, he just started doing it. And he's just like a master overnight. 
I think it's just something about being like 24. <laughs> he's just got he's got he's <laughs> tapped in to that TikTok. <laughs> the TikTok nostalgia we need. How old are you, Elmo, if you don't mind oh. asking? Uh we have four sensor lenses now. Yeah. Oh, four. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, good. Now we have one for each eye. That's perfect. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> Uh, backups. Uh, hold on, though. Hold on. That's not gonna cut it. You can't make me wear that crap. Where's the black spray paint? Oh. You know what? I'll rock him. I'll rock him. I'll rock him in white. Little hipster, sure. little hipster drip. There we go. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm 35. You're 35? Oh, yeah, I'm 29. So not that far off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Similar, similar band of life. Like, it's... <laughs> Uh, oh, did you make the sensor processing unit? No. Okay, let me do that. Uh, gold and copper. Oh no, where will we find any? <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, ah! I just saw inside your mind. There. And voila. Okay, and one for you, sir. Uh, we just need a bit more copper. Never mind, we just need a bit more gold. And some silicon. Oh, uh, that was literally one gram, and I need one more gram. <laughs> just do it through here. Oh shit, there's nothing else in there, is there? No, no. Okay. <laughs> that was, right. I didn't even check. That was a that was a that was a close miss, yeah. Okay. You made one for you. I for made yourself, one for me. Right? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. And voila! Oh my god, we are sitting on top of a lot of stuff. Whoa, that's a lot of iron. Oh, dude, if we slap a, if we slap an auto miner here, we'd actually get quite a lot. I never find that they're really worth the time, though. Nah. Nah, this is this, they don't they don't if they were bigger maybe, like if it was like yeah. an eight by eight well, or something that might do it. But if it were more more mo mobile. Yeah, yeah, right. That also. Yeah. Just give me a hand so, drill that mines the whole planet <laughs> in one go. <laughs> yeah. There's your next mod. Energy. <laughs> we can build an More energy later. pistol. What the hell's an energy pistol? A weapon. I mean, I, I got that much. Thank you. But <laughs> I mean, what, like, what's the... <laughs> uh, I didn't realize there was like a, a combat element in this game at all. Now, haven't you seen the the monsters? Mon what? No. Yeah, yeah, there's monster in the game. I think their AI is taken out. But last time I tried, they uh, they tried to. It's like huge bugs. They that tries to eat you. Oh my! That's so cool. But uh, yeah, it, early concept that's you know been sitting around yeah, in the yeah. game files for like a million years, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, this is how we wrap up here. We're gonna play ball, all right? Here's your, here's your, here's your ball. There you go. Behind you, you gotta nail uh -huh. the hoop. Uh, we gotta plug that in first. Hold on, let's uh, <laughs> just uh, we get the score counter. I, I just, I genuinely just saw this. I saw basket, and I was like, oh, maybe that's for like bringing ores back to the base. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking basketball hoop. <laughs> Can you make? Wait, is there a basketball? Can you check the tool printer? If yeah, I yeah, could. there is a bus bolt. Dude. Forget these Let's nickel see. games. Where is the connector? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, I had it for a second. Come on. Cannot see what I'm doing here. Oh, there we go. Where is the power connector on this thing? I, I can't seem to find it. I guess... Is it, it not is... on the top? It is at the back, but it, oh, it faces downwards. That's what I'm struggling with. Okay. I thought it was facing up. So we just need... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right there, yeah. To do one of these. Up. 
day. Is there a switch? Uh, How do you basketball? I think... Yeah, I don't know. I can tell that this was not designed for, <laughs> for everybody to use. Alright, well, let's do this. Gotta be a switch, right? Well, the thing, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, I can't find it. Oh, oh, is that it? No. Okay, well, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Sure. Okay, let's get a get a little practice shot here. Okay, but extra hard? No UI. F two. Gotta hide the HUD. <laughs> okay. F two. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, that's an okay overshoot. That's, that's an overshoot. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, dude, this crater under here is actually, it goes quite a way. Pretty large. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe UI is fine, because otherwise you can't tell how hard you're throwing. <laughs> nah, you right, just you're, max it out. You're up, you're up. Then... Whoop. Uh, ooh. Too low. Okay, okay, I got this. It's going so high. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this, uh, it's this moon gravity. It's messing with my game. <laughs> Do you even ball chat? Hmm? Meet me on the hard court and we'll then you can talk shit in my chat. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> All right. Hold on. This is the one. This is the one. It's just, it's so, it's aiming so much higher than I think it is. You got this, you got this, that's lined up. Come on, Elmo. Send it home. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was right there. <laughs> oh, off the hoop. Alright, let's go for a slam dunk instead. Let me grab mine. And it's really bouncy as well. Dunk it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, this is why my Ooh. career in the NBA never took off. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we got one. <laughs> Just slowly moving oh, oh, the goals closer. Hey! It. You got it. You got it. All right, man. Well, thank you very much, Elmo, for hanging out today. Oh, wait. We're not done yet. What am I talking about? Sleepers, my man. we got to build the sleepers. We oh. can't. We can't. Right. I, for I forgot. I forgot. Sleep. No, not there. Bed. Bed. That would be iron, iron and copper. Iron and copper. Look it up. Do you have any copper? Uh, there's some in here. Oh, it's all being put inside the auto <laughs> <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> A delivery system. Look at that. <laughs> now that is engineering, baby. That's the way it's done. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice throw. There we go. I mean, we can get the resources back from those glasses once we get to deep drilling. Yeah. Which is probably what we'll get onto next time, about getting some infinite resources. Right, have you got two beds? Two beds, yeah. Okay, yeah, bedtime. Let's see. Down. There. And for me, thank you. Oh, we can make all a little, like, little bedside table here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I got this. I got this. Perfect. And then wait, I hold. On. I know the final piece of the puzzle. I'll be right back. Hold on one second. <laughs> I forgot this is a simple airlock. Cancelled the pressure by mistake. We need this. Is 
Thanks for having us, LU. Have a great night. Thank you for being here, chat. It's been so much fun. Uh, we are, Ella, Elmo and I are going to start winding down now, though. And we're going to place our, uh, there we go, our memento. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, man. Thank you so much good for night, hanging man. out. It's been, uh, uh, it's been really cool. Elmo, please shout out all of your stuff before you go. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having me. I don't have much stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll shout out your stuff for you. Go check out Elmo's YouTube channel. Do you have a Discord server by any chance? No, okay. no, I don't. Okay, then just check out his channel and check out my Discord server in the description, as well as largely legal content coming there soon. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out today. And uh, we will see you all in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>